Copper Topper Jogger. の旦那象の国は二人の王によって守られてきたのだ He didn't listen to a fucking word. He just stares like. <laughs> oh shit, it's almost time to go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thing that's been ingrained in our mind is if there's a man, you talk to a man from the household, 
um, it's it's ingrained in society, even even though we don't realize it. It's much more prominent if you go to um, if you go to Afghanistan um, or the Middle East. It's much more prominent there. Uh, but when I was helping out the Afghan refugees, I literally wasn't supposed to talk to the women. If there was a man around, I was to talk to the man, and the man was to talk to the women for me. Um, I was not to talk to any women. Um, and as a matter of fact, I wasn't even supposed to look, when, look the women in the eye um, because <clears throat> that would make them feel very uncomfortable that I was looking them in the eye as a man. Um, and so that it's a it's a very old cultural thing, and I, I, I don't see it affecting society that much um, as much as you think it might, Wick. I, I don't see it affecting society well, that if the Verizon guy comes up, and goes to the house, and he talks to me. <laughs> it's a little bit, right? Like, <laughs> no, you're right. It's not a major yeah. thing. It's not a major <laughs> issue, but it is, it's those little things, right, so uh, they make way for me, right, like people make way for me in the way they just don't. Hold on, oh, so first of all, I like privilege, she's not given privilege, she loves the privilege, she loves to be a privileged male, is that what you're saying, Rick? There are privileges, and I enjoy them, yeah. Well, that, that was great, first of all, like, I, uh, like, I hate it when you look me in the eye, like, as if you're so cool, right, like, I burn brown, so you thank you. Um, but Wick, is it because, actually, I don't, I've never seen you in God forbid me and right. Convention. Forbid. You bit. You bit. When did I start streaming? This sucks. I didn't hit stream. Sus? Can somebody say sus? Bruh, I can't stand it. Oh my god. I'm actually dying. Thank god. Oh, my ears. Alright, I'm just gonna like... I'm gonna bask in this for a second. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Hmm. There's something about it. Mm hmm. Alright, let's see. Uh, what do you think? Yeah? Alright. We'll roll with it. <laughs> we might not get past this one, though. Oh, I should have him vote to extend the topic or not. The DAG thing. Oh, that's what the DAG can think can be. <laughs> I'm already thinking of fun, <laughs> fun ways to fuck with it. Oh, I gotta do my hair. Oh my god, I've been live. I haven't been doing my hair. Oh, there's even the chat. The little mini chat. Oh, that's fun. Cool. Hey Twitch, let's play Kwikatsu. Yay, that sounds fun. Alright, I should probably go to the... <laughs> Great, we've got another one as well. Let's go. I am sex full. I am race full. Yeah. I've had over a man, man, man. Okay. Another one. As well. I am sex full. I am race full. I've had over a hundred partners. Okay. I am race full. I am Why sex work full. Why does it work and bite the snow? Okay? Like it's just fun. It's, I guess I'll race. Okay. Like I am. Is. I am. I am holy of myself. Yo, I'm watching that shit. You're gonna get tired of it really fast, right? 
Man, imagine going to fucking Europe and not being able to go. Which, then people won't be so tired. Oh my god. Dude, that'd be so fucking good ass right now. Holy shit. Like. Bruh. Bruh. Great, we got another one as well. I am sex full. I am race full. I've had over a hundred partners, okay? I am race full. I am sex full. Long hair, blue eyed, and white as snow, alright? Sex. Race. Okay? Like, okay? I am. I am fully of myself, okay? Wait, is the media playing? Tired of really, really fast, right? So if you can't find a way to have them stay up here, try other foods, try other things, then people won't be so uh, tired. You that? Yes, I'm hoping you can also go make them up if they have to. They'll find a way to have them just because I don't feed him. Okay, I'm hoping you can also go make them up if they have to. They'll find a way to have them just why wouldn't it show me? Race. Okay. Like, I, I, I am. I am fully of myself. Okay. I am never not myself. Crack my brain off. It doesn't not myself. I'm really racist. It's not myself. I think it's loud about not myself. The only time I am less of myself is when I'm a of myself. I am full of this. I'm blind here through eyes and like a snow. What? Great, we got another one as well. Why does the media so much have I am sex full. I am race full. I've had over a hundred partners, okay? I am race full. I am sex Why are full. Long hair, blue eyed, and white as snow, alright? Sex. Race. Okay? Like, I'm I, am, I, am, I am fully of myself, okay? I am never not myself. Why is my video so much not myself? I'm not myself. 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 I am sex full. I am race full. I've had over a hundred partners, okay? I am race full. I am sex full. Long hair, blue eyed, and white as snow, alright? Sex. Race. Okay. Like, I am. I am. I am never not myself. Pick my brain off. It's not myself. I'm not racist. It's not myself. I'm not myself. I'm not myself. The only time I am less of myself is when I'm pinned of myself. I'm full of this. I'm blind here through eyes and like a snow. I have to do it again. I have to do it again. I have to do it again. It's going to make me feel good. It's going to make me feel good. I'm not racist. 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 I'm not rac
So if you can't find a way to have that food stack you have to try other foods and try other things, then people won't be so uh, tired. You post that? And you have some more food. So don't make them up if they have to. They'll find the road. They'll find the road. They'll find the road. I just have the... I downloaded the clip for it, for the highlight, and then I just played this song. Well. That. That's pretty funny. I am sex full. I am race full. I've had over a hundred partners, okay? I am race full. I am sex full. I'm here to and white snow, alright? Sex. Race. Race. Sex. Full. I am, I am holy of myself. That's okay. it. Sure. I am never not myself. Yes. My brain thought it wasn't not myself. I'm holding racist, 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 not myself. I'
Uh, how about you, Charm? That's good. That's good. Oh, I'm doing great. I'm like, I'm like really uh, good. Who, uh, who's all supposed to show up? Uh, a few people. I know it's you and like five others. Five others, I think. Great, got another one as well. I am it's a busy school. weekend. I you gotta switch Amsterdam and go around. Okay. I am raised full. I am Everybody wants to see the eclipse. Long hair, and white as snow, all right? Race. Okay. Like, I, 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 am, I am holy of myself, okay? I am never not myself. Take my brain apart. It wasn't not myself. I'm holy racist, not myself. I think it's loud, but not myself. At the same time, I am pleasant myself. Yeah, I have a, I have an interview at nine, so if it goes over nine, I will have to dip out. Oh, I don't know. It's gonna even be more than an hour. It might not even be more than five minutes. Who knows? If nobody shows up, yeah. then it could just be you yeah. and your voice. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. No, not yet, Radical. You can get in here if you need I gave you the link, right? I know I gave you the link, obviously. <laughs> Try other things, then people won't be so uh, tired. If you really need contact and just get Beacon here, y'all can yell about Cyberpunk again. Hey, that's fine. That's literally like. <laughs> I will no. So I, I tried to get the guys, right? The boys. Last week it was the boys, right? I tried to get them to talk about violence in video games, and I was laughed off my own hands. It was embarrassing. Yeah, I saw I was Chud like, really was going hard on you on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, to, to 15 likes. Yeah, clearly Twitter loves him. They just, they can't get enough of that Chud logic. <laughs> Oh, I don't know how I don't know how loud my music is, but it's fun. I never saw anything as I got a friend with Chud from the team. DK, somebody somebody clipped a song, they made a song. I think he used an AI to do it, and it works. So I don't even know if people can hear it right now. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause. Welcome to the Charm Royale. It's us. I think I'm the only one watching the stream too, so it just might be literally the two of us. <laughs> oh wait, no, it just increased. Well, yeah, RLA is here. All right, here, hold on. I gotta invite the Charm Hole Solutions. There we go. Nice. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, shit. Actually, I should probably invite everybody, shouldn't I? Damn. Yeah, probably. I knew there was something I did last week. I was like, what did I do last week? Did I share topics? Like, dude, I was like, I know I did something, and this was it. Let's see, we got Schlotsky. We got, oh, Claw Can't Make It, which sucks. He was just, he was on one. That was awesome. Claw seems like a crazy one. I've never talked to him, though. Oh, Mr. Yeah, I know Mr. Braindead's up. Here, I can uh, I can DM Mr. Brain Dead real quick. Yeah, I got him too. Oh yeah, I just invited him to the server, but I'm pretty sure he's already. <laughs> Wait, somebody canceled. Yeah, Sprouticus was like, I gotta go to Wick, and Kid Not Kin was like, my family's gone. Oh, did Kid Not Kin fucking cancel? I know, right? Oh, that sucks. He was the one who like um, I was talking to him, and he was like, Hey, come to Char uh, Charmer with me. Let's see. Is anybody online in there? Yeah, JP was like, hell no. And I'm like, you're not real. You're not. <laughs> JP's just retarded. <laughs> That's I don't uh, be real. I got Oh, yeah. You get, you're not banned off Twitch, are you? You're not on like an alt. Are you? No, I'm not I'm, banned on Twitch. I'm no, really, I don't stream, so. I'm, re I'm required. It's like when you sit down on a bench with a cop you gotta and you ask the cop if you're like are you a cop they have to say if they are right mm -hmm. it's like are no. you bad yeah. on twitch trauma it's not that hell no i'm not fuck not oh, okay. i had haters Definitely. try to squash me they were like um <laughs> you worked for bernie sanders campaign by the way i can't believe nobody's showing up bernie sanders is supposed to show up tonight like kind of a big <laughs> deal kind show of a where? big deal show up where here 
There's no way Bernie Sanders is joining the Discord. Nigga. No, I'm God, dude. I swear. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. He's coming up. Yeah. He's going to be a little That'd be late. That's fucking but... hilarious. If, like, just imagine Bernie Sanders on a debate panel. It's like, all right. So, that's the point right there. Have another stroke real quick, and then we'll continue. <laughs> it was a, first off, it was a heart attack. Okay. Second, second, he's got a monster can. So, you're damn right. He's having strokes <laughs> every day. Every day, and certainly not off on the golf course. All right, because that's public area. <laughs> that's public land. All right, idea, Mister. I think Mister. Brain Dead to come on. All right. Yeah, he said he was going to be here. I had a, I had a whole bunch of people. He's deaf, and like, I don't. He's deaf in my VC, and he's been for like the past two hours. So I don't know what he's doing. He yeah. may fall asleep. He's, he's bad. He he takes a certain meds, and yeah. if he takes a certain time, he'll just pop out. I got one guy who really wants to come on, but the moment he joined my server, he started dropping slurs like it was, like it was real cool, like real edgy. I was like, "Wow, good jokes, man! That's so, so fire." I'm not, I'm not thinking uh, a literal who. I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna pass on that one. It's kind of sus. Oh, somebody online! Shit. Somebody online said you couldn't make it. What are you serious, man? Everybody's watching yeah. Amsterdam yeah, shit, he, um, but they're all asleep. Amsterdam's closed right now. They're yeah, gonna, he they're... he DM'd me about two hours ago and told me he couldn't do it. Damn, that blows. Oh shit! The content's about to just be me and fanatic just going back and forth. All right, that's what it's gonna be. Hey, that's. I funny. don't even know what the topic is. Oh, uh, there's a few Same. topics. I got them. <laughs> I I set them, but yeah. Let's see. Oh, Alan. Oh, he wants to play co-op Skyrim. He doesn't want to do a panel. Yeah, Alan. Look, what's Craig, up, dude? Just for the content, we'll just we'll just disagree on everything. All right. Okay, we'll figure it out. Wait, R L A. Well, R L A. Wait, is that yo, Mr. Brain Dead? Yes, oh, the yes. burger himself, the Big Mac, yeah. the Whopper. All right. Virtual camera. Um, I can see if I can get a few other people in here. Charm, if you want me to. Kid Knockin's supposed to be in here. There we go. Kid Knockin couldn't make it. Oh, what happened? Family stuff. Oh. That's there just the excuse you make when you don't want to hang out with Charm. Yeah. Yeah, not right. Fucking <laughs> bitch. Yeah, right. If not, we could just do our own thing. It doesn't have to be a Charm Hoyal. All right, RLA, even though they promised me no matter what they would be on the panel, they said, I will eat three buffets worth of food in one night if I can't make it. And now they're saying they can't make it. So I'm going to hold you to that, RLA. You better consume at least 6,000 calories in one evening because you promise. You don't remember that? Oh, well. Oh, shit. That was a dream I had. Never mind. Never mind. Sorry. My bad. I'm getting shit. All right. Anyway, hey, we got four people. That's a panel, though. You can't have a panel with three people. You can have a panel with three people. You just gotta be real niggas. Uh, you gotta. Oh yes. I feel like it would be something like it's not a panel. It's more like a tennis racket or something. Yo, like Charmho, find me a white guy that believes that nobody should be allowed to say the N word. I need that. Any. I can miss Brad. Do you take that stance? I would say if I said Miss Brad takes that stance. I can pretend to be that guy. <laughs> no, no, so... I don't need no pretenders. I need somebody authentic. That really yeah, no, that. a real one. Oh, um, I thought you. Outside of when we sing Johnny Rebel, I thought you believed that. My God! All right, there's a, uh, what I believe in is that there's a certain context in which you're allowed to say it in. It just depends on the context of the situation, right? It's all situational. What would be the context that a white person should be allowed to say it in? Okay. So, oh well. All right. Let's say you're doing an academic, you know, setting in an educational setting. You're reading a book. If, you know, you're consulting something, if you're looking through history, the word's going to pop up. It's best to let people know, like, the power of that word so they know how strong it is, right? Because it is a powerful word. It does hold a lot of, you know, connotations, and the history of that word is not great. But, I mean, it's still a word that, People need to know about, know the history about, need to hear on occasion, so they, you know, <laughs> feel the impact of that. Wait, so how many 
white dudes do you know who don't want to say it? I guess Eminem, but he's kind of on a different level. I mean, I yeah. think most white people don't want to say it, you know? I mean, the sensible ones. No. You know? The I sensible mean, ones. What do you mean, a sensible one? Well, I mean, mean, why would you want to say this word that you know is going to get a whole bunch of negative? There is no such thing as a sensible white person. Let's be real fanatic. That's very true, fanatic. (laughs) You might be right. Don't be lying. (laughs) We all, there's no such thing as a sensible white person. Get the fuck out of here. We hard. We hard. And it's time to make a joke around with people, too. But I mean, you know, know, that's. I'd imagine, I I would imagine white people want to say it, you know, because, um, I feel like it's one of those things where it's like to find a limitation on your privilege, you just kind of want to do that thing. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, like when I would be like in school or something and like they would tell me, don't do this thing. Like You can't you can only get one cup of water or something. Something in me wanted to get two because I just like to push boundaries. I liked at that age, like to just be edgy and to do the thing that I wasn't supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I might not even be interested in doing something. But once they tell me I can't do it, then I want to do it. And I think that's just, you know, being young and edgy and so on and so forth. But I think in the same sense that applies to white folks today, where it's like you got this complexion for the protection that allows you to basically do whatever the freak you want to do in this country and has an entire like system that's designed for you. And you got one little thing that you can't do. It's like, mm-hmm. wait, what? why can't I do that one little thing? I think that's what drives them to want to do it a lot. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I want to say I mean, thank you. Just real, quick, casually, just real quick. Like, I want to say thank you thing. for your opener, uh, Fanatic. Welcome to the charm Royale, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is it. We got we got everybody, five people. There will be, if everybody uh, knows from last time, the last winner got a five dollar gift card to Taco Bell. They substituted it for a oh, Planned Parenthood thing. Uh, I guess our first topic will be white people wanting or hating to say the N word. Personally, my own position is that they need it and they love it. And honest to God, they probably say the hard one way more uh, the thing I like to say is uh, liberals like to think it, conservatives like to say it. So that's the only difference between the two. Yep. But um, I get my beyond open? that, we'll just, so that'll be our first topic. Uh, we'll play a little mini game called Defend Attack Grab. It's basically like rock, paper, scissors. If I had a chat, they'd be able to vote, but you can't vote <laughs> with, you can't make polls in Twitch chat unless you have like 50 or more people. So that's fun. Mm. But, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, all right, I guess we'll, we'll get started. Thanks, Fanatic, for your take. Mr. Braindead, I feel like you have a lot to say on this. I don't think people should casually bandy about the N-word. There's a lot of power behind it. Uh, it's not a really nice thing to even have. Like, all of the history behind that word and, like, all the history behind white people in that word... Uh, it's what's 400 years of just you know oppression including that word Mm -hmm. but there are some times like an academic setting where you know that word might come up right and in literature and in lectures and things like that i think those are okay to say like on occasion if you have to bring it up in a history class like you should be taught like like that, you know, to understand why that's not a thing that you should be allowed to say casually. What kind of policing bullshit are you talking about? What? What is the history of oppression behind that word, right? What? Dude, it's just a word. Chill. Oh my god. So... Oh, sorry, fuck. I hit mute twice. So, Mr. Maria, when I call you the Kessler, right, you've been oppressed for a, a very long time, being that you're you know, Jewish. So it's like, is that wrong when we are in my server and I just call you the Kessler? All right. This is all. I gave you the. I gave you the pass. I gave you the pass. Okay. So when we call the the server in word, is that also wrong because he's a white guy? Uh, I don't. I really don't. I haven't liked it since you said it the first time. I believe that all dudes and bitches are soft A's, but all cops are hard R's. I think that's a good way to sum it up. Do you think that's because of like they're the system they're trained in is like inherently racist? Do you think that's why they say it with a hard R? Yeah, absolutely. The prison industrial yep. complex, like how that's like rule number one. Well, I guess rule number one is do you want to eat other humans? And they're like, hell yeah, I do. Like I love taking chunks of them and 
like I love monkey jerky, right? And then the second one would be the type of monkey jerky that they like. Oh, I like this type or I like this kind, you know, I like southern hum- monkey jerk. I like northern monkey jerk, you know, all that gross nasty shit. They're basically cannibals. I, I think that's at the yeah. 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 So the takeaway are police or cannibals. In a way, yeah, absolutely. So like right in the and like okay, so like let's say you're eating a meal, right? And you're like eating some kind of fish. You don't normally eat fish. You're like, what kind of fish is this? You ask the chef. You ask the you know whoever's serving it. Like you'd be like, what is this? I would be like, oh, it comes from this. It's this type of fish. And you'd be like, oh, tuna, salmon, blah blah blah. Like you'll like you'll think of a certain region, a certain type of fish, right? A certain type of taste, mouthfeel. Right, cooks a certain way, probably prepared a certain way, right? So, like, the racialness would be inherent in the cannibalization because, again, you're especially because you're cooking it and you're serving these people, right? Specifically, I mean, people in prison by the state or federally, especially federally, actually. I'd say federal will probably really cook them up real fast. <laughs> would you agree with that, fanatic, that like the police are like inherently racist against black people? They want to eat them. Okay, do you think that the police want to eat black people, fanatic? Hmm. Do you? I think that if you were to go to a police station in Alabama in the 1940s, there was probably a really high chance at the dinner table that was a possibility. Yeah. I mean, and it, that was only, like, what, two generations ago? Like, come yeah. on. Yeah. Come on. I mean, they made a whole comic book series, right? It's called, like, Chow or something. It's about a detective who eats brains. Right? I mean, there you go. Like, the proof is in the pudding. Brain pudding. Really. Um, I mean, I think that the system of policing is inherently racist, but I think most of our institutions are inherently racist, so... And the thing about cannibalization, too, is it always has to be racist. I don't think it could be raceful, right? Like, when you were consuming a fish or a leg of meat from your favorite quadruped, right, you were admitting that you were about to consume wholly through your mouth and out your anus a type of being, right? Like, that, you were you were saying, I will consume it, I will deconstruct it, I will destroy it wholly and have it become a part of me right that's pretty big like to, to say that you want to do that like that's quite a transference right but it's also an admission that it has to be what it is right it has to be a part of what it is you can't you can never separate it right mm-hmm. being uh say quote-unquote racist toward uh, cannibals i would have meat eaters s- in general I would say that there's something that I noticed, though. There's a lot of times where we were like, when we're looking at like systemic oppression and stuff, where we want to look at it and say that it has to be like kind of designed that way inherently or something like that. I would say also, if something becomes widespread enough that it like affects people, like that it, you, it, you pretty much can't divorce like that widespread maltreatment from the system itself, then I would say that the system is inherently racist, right? Even if it's one that's de- like dependent on discretionary things but the people that are using the discretionary things are doing it in a very way you know, like like pervasively in a ne- negative way uh, so i would say when it comes to policing that would be a case i'd say prosecutors in this country are racist um, the majority of them and then whenever you're doing that it, you still can find individuals maybe that might not be the case for but on average yeah i think it's pretty bad yeah the system as a whole there's not like every individual that's within that system that's going to adhere by that but by, persi- by participating in that system, right, you have to take on some of those traits because that system is inherently oppressive, especially towards black uh, black Americans. Yep. Um, so now regarding this N word, that would you guys be able to call that a cultural appropriation? Wait, what? I missed the question. Sorry. Um, the I don't think you can culturally appropriate language uh, to say really not today's time because like language is so multicultural and like so integrated with each other that like anything that we use is an origin of another language from somewhere else originally let me ask you this do you think canadians say fuck more or mexicans 
I got no idea. Uh, well, Canadians probably. Um, I'd imagine probably has, I've seen Mexicans. Yeah, like where like you have to really think because I noticed this uh, the other day on my 700th episode of One Piece that there's quite a few uh, connections between uh, the Japanese language and Spanish. There's like actually a lot of words that kind of connect there. And when you're talking about like say strictly English, right? I think that you can't again you can't separate like the location with the language, right? I mean every kid is born completely tabula rasa, blank slate. So whatever language you want to like push onto them, that's just what they're it's gonna imprint on their mind and that's it. You know, past twenty years old, they're set, right? That shit is set in I guess electronic silicone mushroom stone in your fucking noggin, right? Sinew and shit. It's in there. Like you you can't separate that. So when you say like, oh I'm gonna appropriate it, it's like, well that means that you're gonna tell your kid not not to interact with the locals, right? And now I think even more than of course ever, we've got a massive orgy of languages on the internet everything has just come together where you're just seeing the craziest shit to the point where i think it emojis and emotes and emoticons were inevitable like you can't it, it's the easiest way to communicate with anybody ever right like it's really it's really hard to see a picture and be like oh i don't get it right like everybody watches transformers and they're like holy shit that's impressive right like you can't so have issues like recognizing like uh, facial features and what the expressions mean and the like emotion behind it. Uh, I'd say, yeah, actually, oh. that's not. Well, no, that's a fucking. Oh my god, I just it it hit me. What slurs are emotes? Are there emotes that are so bad that could be considered a slur? Uh, probably. I would assume. Which that, one? Yeah, post them. Let's guy. go. I, I don't done. think. That, I don't. I don't think an emo, unless it like literally says a slur, could be one. I think a really. An emo could be offensive, right? Because like, I it, would. It could definitely be offensive. Well, I would say because if you looked at the most used, but also the most banned emote on Twitch, it would be try hard. So I would say a lot of people are trying to put n word slur energies onto it, right? They definitely are. Right. For sure. Right. Okay. So, so then, but that that means that poor guy, that guy's face, like he's the fucking and. That's insane, right? You're going to yeah. say a man's face. Like, you were, like, single-handedly, you were saying, like, click, 4K, you're a slur. Like, his, where... his face is the most banned face on... It's the most banned... Um, hit, the the, the, the tryhard is literally the most banned... Um, yeah, but it's know, the most used, Twitch. also. Yeah, but it's also the most banned. Um, right, but it's also the most used. That's right. game theory. It can't not yeah, be it's probably, it's like if it's gonna true. be the most used, it has to be the most negative, right? Well, yeah, and I'm sure it doesn't. I'm sure it helps it. That it's the most banned. Right? I mean, I'm just say something's not allowed. They're gonna do it more, right? So as you say, you can't do that. Remember, like, no, I'm gonna fucking do that. All right, try hards in chat. All right, next topic. <laughs> Let's see. We got uh, BlackRock is blind buying up all the homes in in North America. What does anybody have anything interesting to think to say about the new housing crash? Possible, well, you know. Um, oh wait, here's the thing. Feels bad, man. If the market does crash, the government will just bail out BlackRock, and we'll still be a nation of renters. So that's what they want to push on us: more landlords and corporate landlords at that. You know, the American dream was to buy a home, to have a nuclear family, wow. to have a job that that paid enough money for you to be able to just to subsist and not just subsist but actually save money and spend money now you can't do that anymore you have a job that hasn't increased its fucking salary with uh, inflation in almost 50 years and now you can't find a home under six hundred thousand dollars and if you do it's probably twenty two hundred dollars a month to rent which would be a mortgage on a home i definitely listened to everything you just said and it's fucking atrocious it makes me, it reminds me of the scene in the Matrix 4 when they had all of the bugs or NPCs just start jumping, mass jumping out of the skyscrapers, trying to stop Neo and Trinity, right? Like, they're like, yeah, just commit fucking suicide. Just jump out the fucking, just head first out the glass and be a human meat bullet 
<laughs> cannon, if you will. <laughs> like, just trying to it's... stop you guys. It was a powerful image. The movie sucked, but still, that scene reminds me of a corporate AI-controlled entity buying most of the <laughs> houses in America. As opposed to Bill Gates, who is, I think, but I heard it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. It probably will get worse. I mean, it looks like we're possibly going into a recession within the next like like ten years, um, which is pretty average within like our economy. So uh, it'll probably get a lot worse within the next, I would say, five years for the housing uh, market. Well, I would say it's even more. uh, It's just more evidence, right, of how damning. Our constitution is uh, because it commodifies land so much. It's like the end all be all. Like land is the law, like effectively, right? So it's kind of like the big last stand. It's like America's last stand, right, against the foreign horde, right? Because you're yeah, you're talking about like we're the indigenous now. So it's like yeah, well now we have to defend our land, <laughs> like. And if we can't, well, if on, our children on, can't on, buy the land, right? Like buy the land or acquire the title or the deed or whatever the fuck you have right like you have to look for the lands the the supreme law of the land and they're just going to be like oh yeah it's a free-for-all yeah you guys like the movie uh oh what's it called the one where they have no laws for a day i forget that name purge the purge oh the purge that's so crazy that it's just a melted forever part of american culture is that the forever specifically purge, yeah. yeah i know they made like so, seven of them it was a whole yeah, series like, so i want to read the so, manga so, let me ask you this i want to ask you this. <laughs> so you're talking about like um the all these purge. things what do you think of things like uh mass immigration and stuff like that or what some people even quoted to be like the great white replacement well, um if they're do you poor, think that will like right they can't buy land so fuck them but if they're rich yeah go ahead Come on over. You got mm. the money, shit. Do you th- right? do you think it'll be problematic with the uh, high rate of immigration that's been coming through for the past ten years? And think that'll be problematic for America. What? No, and we like need to hit 50... one billion Americans. Okay, so you want more Amer? You want more Americans in here? Why okay, would America not want more of itself? Hmm. It doesn't. It doesn't matter to you what skin color they are. What? No. It doesn't matter to America because it's going to happen anyway. That's the whole. That's, that's the whole appeal. Like that's why because it's like we're like, don't you do it? Don't you do? Oh, don't you break the law? And then you come to America. It's like, oh shit! Literally, no family is abiding any laws because they have the money not to. Like that's just you own the land. Like you don't need to own anything else. You don't need to own money. Now it really helps if your land owns something really important, like you know, Coca Cola or a silicon mine, or you know, because that exists. <laughs> Fanatic, America, what do you right? think of landlords? Water. Yeah, Fanatic, use your mouth. Please. I think landlords shudder. are fine. I think you just have to make sure that you're not, like, I think they can be harmful, but I think, like, the sense, it makes all the sense in the world. Like, somebody, like, doing something like, to create, like, a property for people to be able to live in, um, you know, that can be, like, advantageous towards, like, maybe, like, a job opportunity, right? Like, like in, a, in a region where people don't have the capital to, like, fully commit to a house, um, I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, there's a lot of people who have jobs that recall, cause them to travel all around the world, and they wouldn't feel comfortable having a home. Yeah, they're a protected um, class. They're a little yeah, no. That in that class. sense, it would make sense to uh, to have an apartment rather than owning a home. Because I mean, if you're traveling around the world, the odds are that you're probably making a bit more money than most people, and just right, having a simple well. apartment to come back to is a lot easier. But for the average I American, for the average American, paying. Okay. Over I half the uh, half school. their I wages and rent school. every I month. Um, I don't think it's feasible, sense. right? It's like that one thing that people need: a home, right? Shelter, mm-hmm. food, and shelter, food, and water. What people need. Of course, it's not. becoming increasingly difficult to uh, to achieve because owning a home is almost impossible for most people now. Uh, over half, and saving to own a home is almost impossible because no one's wages are rising with inflation and no one's being paid a wage to be able to do that thing that people want to do which is live a life so they told gen xers they were like don't worry the the boomers will die and you'll get all their stuff but they still haven't died yet they have like 30 years to go so like everybody's kind of like oh shit that like first housing crash they did that was just a fuck up like that was actually a legit fuck up they didn't really mean to do that they didn't want it to happen yet because it's inevitable 
because that's how markets work, right? So, and especially if there's no conventional wisdom, right, the better. Because if there's people who don't yeah. think or talk about it, then <laughs> there's it's full profit. There's no, like, you can't not profit from that because nobody's willing to, like, give the scoop, right? So it's always behind closed doors, even in the open, right? Like, I tried to get help for being evicted from Amy C3, a famous Twitch streamer, and they banned me from the channel because they were like, even though they were like housing for all, and it's like I need help, and they're like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> you're, you're talk, you're a toxic man sometimes, and I'm like, yeah, of course I am. I got, I got evicted. Like, do you think, you think a normal person gets evicted? No, yeah, but at that's the same not time, right. You don't, you don't write off like the entire process, right? And mm -hmm. I think yes, like mortgages and, and renting has gotten way too high. We need to cap some of those things. Um, like I, I believe in maybe some sort of limited pr uh, rent control or something like that. Limited, not, not in the way that it's done in like places like New York or something. Um, I think the way the real estate market is growing and like pricing people out of it, I think is problematic. So. Yeah, um, but I, I, again, I'm not going to just demonize all landlords because of that. I think people are doing jobs, like they're providing resources that are absolutely needed for some people, and I would say that they that sounds like a good thing. Otherwise, we're going to be forcing people to just like buy houses that they can't afford um, in situations where they're not financially stable, and it just sounds like a terrible idea. Did you ever watch the PJs? Nope. Yes, I love yeah, the PJs. It's a pretty good show. I, I like it. That would make me sympathetic think... toward the janitors, right? Because well, like, like you think about like oh project. like what does a landlord do? It's like they're just the title holder. They're like the literal guy with the piece of paper. Like the actual people who I think you know fanatic. You're like saying like are awesome are like the maintenance, right? Like those are the people who actually care about the place that you're gonna have to live, right? And they're just paid by the fucking landlord. Like they're not. They're sometimes they're paid well. I mean it depends, right? Like there's whole that's the thing, right? The moment you start looking into it, if you like play the game House Flipper, you're like, holy shit, there's a lot of components to this fucking thing. Like it's or like if you play PC builder, right? You're like making a whole ass computer. There's a lot of components, just like there is a house. Like if you're gonna talk about electrical, airflow, you know, stability, weather protection, the windows, the lighting, like, oh my god, there's so many fucking aspects. Like, and it kind of, it blows my way too. If you like really think about it, every American home has a fridge and a microwave and like a stove. How crazy is that? Every single one. So when I say something like 1 billion Americans, right? Shit. Imagine, really try to imagine how many houses that would take. If each 1 billion a person got a house, like a house, right? With a lawn, right? Like that's, that's a lot of land, you know, and one big thing I think Trump did that not a lot of people talk about, just real quick, is uh, national parks. He cut up a there lot are. of national parks. He was like, yeah, slice that yeah, shit up. Issue, Put some apartments up. Yeah, we got one billion Americans we're fucking for. The issue with, like, modern landlords, though, and like, especially certain areas, are that, like, they're able to abuse people. And even treat them like they're less than human. I mean, look at uh, Trump's father. Like, he, yeah. like, treated people like human garbage like and it like directly kicked people out of their homes for just being black like it really written down it's like why did you evict these many hundreds of people oh because they were black like, <laughs> he's like you're not even good enough to eat reason, i'm not even gonna yeah, put you in the stew yeah, so, like, in some in some way yeah, in some ways like landlords in certain areas are like fucking modern like fucking like slave owners because they own these people and then just beat them till they have no. nothing wait where is this Sure. You're saying in so America? Like, uh, there, yeah, in America, yeah. So this doesn't happen as much anymore, but there have been cases in like Alabama and Georgia where there were like right. predominant minority areas that were uh, fucking landlords, sorry, landlords that were white were treating people of color worse. Uh, so bad to the point where they were like cutting their water, making where they had to pay more and stuff like that. And we don't do anything about it. It's kind and of like what... landlords have this like crazy rain to do free things it's kind of like what ukraine did to crimea in eastern ukraine it's crazy cutting off water power that sucks and now it's what's russia's doing to germany <laughs> oops goof nato might have goofed up oopsie doozy Pay me what you owe me uh, i don't right. think so sweden and finland just joined nato as well they didn't Russia's join goodness. they're in talks they're, they, yeah, they, they might as well though and putin will just Turkey nuke finland watch. All right, they so next topic. To. Oh, by the way, we're playing Defend, Attack, Grab. All right? So uh, Defend, Attack, Grab. Attack hurts grab. Grab hurts defend. Defend hurts attack. Okay? So everybody here, go ahead and say attack, defend.
defend or grab at the same time. Don't worry, we'll figure it out in post. It's for the YouTube video. And then we'll tally it up later. All right, so three, two, one. I attack. 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 A lot of attackers, no grabbers. <laughs> All right, so sounds like the defenders. What, is, what does grab do? What? Oh, grab what hurts. Does grab do? Grab hurts uh, defend. Oh, okay, and what does defend do? Defend hurts attack. Okay, cool. All and right. what does attack do? It hurts grab. Nice. Yeah, I call it dag. All right, so great job. The winner of dag is nobody. All right, so next topic is our strip clubs ethical slash what about those hot tub ASMR streams? Aren't they kind of like audible strip clubs? Um, kind of, yeah. The strip club is ethical, but the way that strippers are, tr are treated like they are um, contracted employees rather than actual employees hurts them because they have to give money to the owner that they earn by doing the work. Uh, when strippers could easily, if they really wanted to, organize unions and have their own space in order to do this and have collected pools of tips and things like that that they share amongst each other. Uh, but most places don't do that. It's usually one proprietor and uh, people who are working as, you know, contracted employees rather than actual employees, which gives them less protections and security and uh, a lot of things and strip clubs are not great and strippers are attacked a lot or you know sometimes killed uh or you know mistreated or sexually abused and assaulted nothing ever happened so you know stripping is yeah. ethical but the issue is that it's not regulated enough for people to be able to do it as safely as it as they need to do That's also I, I think i think that prostitution should be legal and regulated uh, as well. I don't but, think prostitution yeah. should be legal, but I'll say that I think stripping, the reason why it's toxic is specifically because of the fact that there is like a super high correlation between like strip work, I mean like sex work and um, exploitation. Um, I think like we have a society that is particularly guarded about like overt sexuality. And so then for somebody to like engage in this thing that's supposed to be this like cherished thing and like do so flippantly, um, it seems to me like there has to be have been some sort of breakdown. And when you start doing like interviews with a lot of them, you find that like a higher prevalence of a lot of them having have been raped or having had like adverse like sexual experiences. And so then that's like detached them from their sexuality and from from a healthy sexuality and which leads them to like who are stripping and doing other things, porn and prostitution. So I would say as long as people are out here pimping, um, as long as these women are not being like safe and we know that all these attacks are happening and all those kind of things, I think it is like inherently, inherently um, predatory. And so I would say it's bad. But so look, I was, well, uh, well I, I was I just watching uh, my old content on YouTube under the same name. I was playing Doom Eternal on the hardest difficulty. And I gave, I ended up giving a speech I just listened to today. It was really interesting about how much I fucking love the fleshlight and how it's, and I was like, I was like giving my honest pitch and I was listening to myself give my honest pitch for this thing that I've had for like almost 10 years now that I would say kind of saved my life in a few ways. And as I was hearing myself, I was like, I was like, one of the best points is that it stopped me from caring about the fairer sex, right? And either just in, in any kind of person I'm attracted to really, because I can focus on loving myself and fucking myself, right? So... Not only that, but I read a book last year called The Death of Eros, and it's fucking so depressing because it's talking about how Cupid is dead. We called him a pedophile, and we said, get the fuck out of here. And so, like, the, the what could be considered love is so commodified and so taxed, right? And it's so... Uh, it, there's no subtlety to it at all anymore, right? There's They call... They say romance, but... You know, I I don't buy it, right? So, because because it's so commodified, it's so commercialized, right? It's so corporate, you know, and like I, it's just when you say, oh well, strip clubs are toxic, or like, oh, there's exploitation. It, it's just like that. Just sounds like capitalism, right? That just sounds like yeah, any job that you have to work because all work yeah. sucks, right? So it's like I don't no, think they, necessarily they're, they're evil. And I especially no, no. believe this because 
Exohydrax got banned off Twitch, but Amaranth didn't, and that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Sure. She's the hottest one. She was so much hotter, and she was an actual gamer girl, not the fake bullshit that the Pickle Rick writer got banned? is. Just saying. Who got banned? Exohydrax. It was last year. She's unbanned now, but oh, she's shit. like she just doesn't. She just. I mean, it's not just fucking Twitch. It's Instagram too, right? Because they're like, um, your booty's too fat. Your tits are too large. You know, you're not white enough, <laughs> right? It's just fucking poo poo bullshit. And like nobody fucking yeah, but there's nobody. Nobody's gonna like actually fight for her, right? Like nobody's gonna be her pretend lawyer. Instead, they're just gonna like say some platitudes about toxic sex industry or something like that right like you know they're gonna take the train wrecks position where it's like you know amaranth could be considered a pedophile you know it like what yeah well because i mean it's a bunch of kids who are watching right like i don't think well, it's <laughs> you it's can't you can't stream. say that you're not gonna have safer work material and then do and then like constantly ride that line so much that the line is giving you a massive wedgie through your front butt and your back butt. Yeah, you know but what kids, I mean? are, like, kids are exposed sorry. to sexuality. They watch movies where there's tons of cleavage or nudity and stuff like that on occasion. Like, right, that's like, where the cleavage enough, is. Y'all are hitting the it's elective. The it's not well, look, the I gotta story. Go. Listen, right? I got somewhere to be. I got I, I need to take a nap before I get to this panel. Um, and All I right. like, like drop dead, drop dead tired. So I got a dip. No, take a nap. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. It was for a sure, pleasure man. to meet you, and I hope you have a good day. All right. For sure. Check out my latest video. It's doing numbers. It's doing really, really well. I will. I will. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. We'll talk again sometime, too, I hope. Okay. I hope so, too. Peace. All right, man. Bye. I accept your submission. He has not won the Charm Royale, he has, he has been <laughs> eliminated. <laughs> Sorry, so, sorry, fanatic. You were this close. You were this. But I was gonna right? say, uh, charm hole is that like sex work? I was gonna actually uh, reply to fanatic where I'm like, in countries where sex work is like, especially prostitution is legal, and they also have universal uh, health care, like in Australia, for instance, we were talking about this the other day, and Alexa can attest to this. Um. People join into the sex industry in like Queensland where prostitution is legal and they love it and they're treated well and it's regulated. You don't they say. Treat... You know, it's they, well regulated. They enjoy it. It's safe. Hmm. Uh, it's safe. People are tested. Good. Uh, they're yeah. treated well and uh, it's not here. It's very lucrative. So why wouldn't you enjoy that? You know? It's... Yeah. How could you not, really? I, it's it's I a think good thing I to would. have around. It's not, wait, where was this place again? Where? In Queensland, Australia. Uh, fucking Australia. I got to go across the pond. I got to go across the other pond, not like the normal now, pond. No, Queensland is a little Fuck bit more that. conservative. They're, that's that's a liberal place, but they do have legal prostitution there. Uh, yeah, of course they and, do. They have it in Turkey, too. Hassan brags about it all the time. He's, he's like, that's what made me lose weight. <laughs> was, yes, radical was getting a, If you want to do it, like, go to Australia. He, I, I believe his story is that he got a state-sanctioned whore who was like, damn, Hassan, you're hung as shit. If only you bulked up a little bit more and lost the fat. And he was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. And then four or five pumps later, here we go. We got the king of TwitchCon going on, right? I was watching Canoe earlier, too. I was kind of hoping they would hang out, but I guess not. Who else is up for a conversation? I'm kind of curious. <clears throat> Schlatsky, you've been very quiet. Do you have anything to say? Uh, I think Eros is dead because it's being commodified. Agreed. Hard hmm. agree. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Go ahead and everybody say attack, defend, or grab in three, two, one. Attack. Grab. All right, cool. Thank you so much. We'll get I was that. alone as a grab. Huh? <laughs> All right, so next topic is. Twitch poll cannibalization slash hippy dippy canceling Haas and Hinkle, density uh, canceling Ice Poseidon. Uh, there's been uh, specifically in um, in uh, Twitch politics, right? I've talked about this a lot in, uh, in a lot of uh, Discord uh, calls I've been in this week, where uh, specifically, it seems the Twitch politics category, right? And by extension, some just chatting. Uh, there's, there's, there's no helping. 
right? When I saw Slicker trying to get from the EU to the America, I saw everybody come together and they're like, no, he's a cute, funny dude. He's got content. Like, we're going to help him out. And people are like, no, he's a toxic dude. He's a piece of shit. You know, and now he's set. He's set right he's a golden boy when it comes to streaming like and it really worked out right they said no partner partner zirka partner zirka you know and now it's like instead of getting people partnered instead of lifting people up right it's nothing but like if you have anything that could be suspicious in your past or or whatnot right like that's it that's you're done for Right. If you if you it's like uh, better call Saul. Right. They're like, you can't be a lawyer at this firm because you shit through a sunroof. Right. <laughs> like that was and there was a kid in the back, you know, oh my like, God. You assaulted a child. Right. <laughs> like and it's like, yeah, so he can never be a person who has a lot of sweat. And I, th I feel like Twitch poll does that a lot, too. They're like. You know, oh, you shit through a sunroof? Um, you're you're canceled before you even started. There's nothing to even cancel. You're done. I still want Claude to point me to the 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 Zerka allegations, like the stuff that he has, because I want to know like what what uh and which show did he say that on? Also, you know that it's funny that like uh, you said that Hans and Hinkle canceled Hippy Dipping, or was it the other way around? No, Hippy around? Dippy canceled. Well, where's Haas and Hinkle? Like, I can't. It really sucks too, because like I would play like Serious Sam. I would play some kind of brainless game on my PC while I'm streaming and I'm listening to their stream. Now I can't do that, right? I can't like I can't Wait, have what? a live Haas, Haas, Haas on Twitch. Yeah, it's what, he got permanently banned because a fucking Financial Times website said that he was pro russia he was reading russian propaganda what? on on twitch live yeah and there was nobody oh, not one person God. defended him not one person defended him right every you know, single twitch fucking twitch poll twitch. every single twitch poll fucking zirka was silent on the matter he didn't say one fucking thing right and not anybody you know said anything revenue? about that shit right and Zerka, that's you know how much kind of revenue up, Twitch is losing out on. You know how much revenue Twitch is losing out saying. on. That's what I'm saying. I know they're they're. That's what I'm saying. They're cannibalizing themselves. They're eating themselves. They're fucking. It, it it doesn't make any monetary sense, right? That's how you know it's broken from the from the top yeah, down. It exactly. has to be top down because people want to make money. They want to make themselves popular. I want to come on here and I, I want to be like, hey, many people give me money and love, right? Like, why wouldn't I say that, right? Like, why wouldn't I want that? So then it's the top down. Like they're punching down and they're punching so hard they're trying to they're trying to bl like milk us for our blood right if you got if it's, you got affiliate i would sub to you immediately you don't have you. no idea thank you i appreciate that i'd have my first badge and everything man i'd be in here and be like yo what up <laughs> but no seriously like which just lost lily pichu they lost another guy too um who dang was they lost lily uh, pichu yeah lily pichu has an exclusive deal with youtube now wow which fucked up Twitch is fucking up badly. That's there, why I'm, that is I'm, so bad. Damn. I want to. I'm gonna start doing a stream on Twitch and stuff like that. But I don't know how long it's gonna last. But Twitch keeps fucking up like this because they they have train wrecks. They have Aspen Gold and who else? XQC. That's and what XQC I'm saying. Go to YouTube That's... for twice as much, and YouTube has way more money than Twitch does. Because Amazon doesn't give a shit about and Twitch. everybody knows YouTube. Nobody knows Twitch, right? Well, like Twitch is still treated Twitch, like cozy just... TV. Like when people come up to me and they're like, "Hey, you should join Cozy" or like some shit like that, and I'm like, "I don't know what that is, and I don't care," right? And there's so many people who say the exact same thing about Twitch because they already have YouTube. They already know. Like I know so many you people. Know... Like they won't watch this now. They'll watch it on YouTube later. Probably you know, Provoke would vouch for you, right? And you could get on Cozy immediately. You'd be a fucking hit. But that's not the point. Do you really want it? As ironic and as hilarious as it would be, would you want to be on a site that is owned by Nick Fuentes? <laughs> yeah. I mean, kind of. You know, like, if you're going to say... Like, I'll say that the appeal is this, right? I'm a white guy who enjoys spice. And somebody who's named Fuentes, you can't say that he's minty right like there's gonna be some fire involved right it's implied so you know i think there's this real yes. liberal fetishization of canadian yes. free speech 
in this oh. and they'll even say like i saw a lucid fox one of the first people to start banning me by the way on twitch poll right and like a guy who loves to cannibalize other twitch streamers right same with lumi roo and aim and fucking i like take your take your fucking pick prime db like all these guys like yeah the moment they have a chance to cancel one of their fucking co-workers they're like fuck them right that'd be like congress canceling other congress members right like y'all working y'all the same miserable kind of shit you're just trying to say that they don't they're like they're so miserable they're somehow like what above or below whatever the fuck this is it drives me crazy. It's it, it's so sad because, like I said, like we agree, like yeah, they're killing themselves. Like they're taking away their own profit. Like, hello. I mean, what more can you expect by a platform ran by a guy who looks like the hitman? So, what can I say, right? <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Oh my God, Jeff Bezos owns this fucking site. He looks like the hitman. Yeah, he's absolutely. Fucking, and he's, no, he's Lex Luthor for real. Well, he is Lex Luthor. yeah. I mean, that's a, of course that's his shtick, right? Like, clearly he loves eating other humans. Like, yeah, keep it edgy, oh, dude. 100%. Like, <laughs> yeah. How much of your shit just went to Ukraine? Go fuck yourself. Right? Blasky, what do you think? Z. Z. Z? Jinping. Nice. I love it. I love it. If you say Z hard enough, it kind of like vibrates your skull. It makes me dizzy. It gives me vertigo. I'm very yeah, sensitive. it does. Yeah. All right. Well, it hasn't yeah, been I 10, 10 minutes, but Queen Alexa dropped and everybody's dropping. So it looks like it's only going to be the winner is going to be the three of us. That's crazy. Fuck yeah. Look, I'm not going to take $5 from you just because I love talking to you, personally speaking. No, it has to. That, no, that, wow. That's a big assumption that you think you're going to win. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You almost had me there. I was like, I was like, yeah, of course. If I win, you have to, you have to apply for fi- affiliate. All right, that's it. Oh yeah, I have applied. They denied me. They didn't deny me. They said that what? I have to do like a bunch of shit because they don't think I'm a real person. They think I'm a bot. <laughs> They're like, but it happens all the time because my family's, uh, we've got history, like real American history, like real oh. American history that people, they don't want. They just they cope about. They're like, no way, really, and I'm like, yeah, and then they get all flustered so all right so go ahead say attack defend or grab three two one attack, z defend. all right so <laughs> hey. yeah uh all right so next topic is is telepathy real schlotsky what do you think um i don't know i don't think so but I don't know. That's boring. I don't know enough about it. Yeah, <laughs> that sucks. Well, I think telepathy could be coincidence in a way, right? Like, I've had dreams before that have become real, and I've also had like uh, dreams that have been sort of prophetic. I've also had a lot of psychedelic experiences that could be, you know, messing with my head too. But mm-hmm. at the same time, I don't know if telepathy is real, but I think that uh, premonition could be real. In a, in a universal sense, in a cosmic, like, maybe How could you have sense. premonition but no telepathy? So, premonition is knowing things that might happen beforehand through, like, right. a dream. Right, so you're, through, like, I know what it is. You don't have to fucking, I'm not Schlatsky, okay? No, oh. so, like, <laughs> yeah, clearly, if you've got, yeah, but, like, how can you ever have telepathy but not, uh, wait, what was the other thing? Premonition. Premonition. premonition yeah how can you ever have premonition without temp- telepathy because premonition implies you know what people are going to do right so how better would you know what they're going to do if you have telepathy <laughs> like i don't well, right like, between premonition, premonition and telepathy would be thinking. premonition is a hunch or an idea that something could go wrong and telepathy is being able to read someone's mind and know what's going on, and know what they're thinking, and be able to connect and mind meld with them, right? So, uh, premonition, I I think that psychedelics can actually tune you into uh, a further reality, right? And Paul Stamets has talked about uh, psilocybin mushrooms, and I also think the same thing could happen with LSD, which I'm a psychonaut, I've done plenty of psychedelics before, I've had crazy shit happen, uh, that I thought about actually happened, like losing my job or you know being hurt somewhere, and it's it's happened. 
And I, I don't know if I could explain that as coincidence because it just seems too real. Could they be self-fulfilling prophecies? Very well could be. It could be that I thought that I dreamt it and it happened because I dreamt it and like subconsciously I went to that place so it could happen. But like I would have placebo effects are certainly real. People can like feel like they're getting better and then their body just starts getting better from that. Um, with premonition and telepathy telepathy is like a Wi Fi connection to someone else's brain. Premonition yeah. is more like receiving stuff from the universe. Like you're just have some kind of a connection to other things. It's not I don't think that you can like download other people's brains wirelessly, but maybe there's something to premonitions. I don't know. Well, so people were afraid of 5G, right? So why would you be afraid of 5G? And there have been obvious like real uh, <laughs> stories out there where people with braces will pick up on local AM and FM radio stations, right? They'll be able to hear it in their fucking skull. So I don't think it's that hard. And plus the whole, like, people call it, oh, tinfoil hat theory. It's like, yeah, duh. Like, Faraday boxes are real. Like, why would you not, right? Oh, so absolutely. you're like, not You've to mention Magneto, that, like, right? ants <laughs> can feel around, like, I mean, smell. Smell, like, everybody, would you say that, like, okay, if everybody's watching a beautiful sunset, you could probably tell what's on everybody's mind right yeah if everybody's you know at a party like everybody's drinking you can probably what's on everybody's dumbed down mind right yeah of course you know? yeah, yeah there's there's differences between telepathy and shared understanding and memory right like because you all have a shared memory or understanding that a sunset is beautiful and that at a party we're all drunk and having a good time right, right? so i know you're going to try to disprove me here this is my telepathy working no, no. now my neurokinetics are faster i'm already so this is my this is my telepathy working in real time right now is i'm deducing i know what you're going to say because i take the first bit that you're going to say and then i i run the projection in my head faster than you're going to say it so then I repeat it or I cut it off before you even have a chance to do it. Is that telepathy? What number am I thinking of right now? Thinking equations meme. Well, you were thinking about trying to soften or uh, lessen the effect of telepathy or the point of telepathy, which I was, which was the shared experience. Yeah, no, okay. You, that's try, what you weren't going to try to broaden think... it. Okay, so... If that's what you're saying, like, yeah, I believe in shared experience, and I think that we we can read each other's emotions, like, through each other's energy as we experience them, because we have a shared experience while we're doing it, right? We can read each other, we can smell each other, we can, you know, feel each other and things like that, and in that sense, and... yes, I think, I think that, yes, if you're, if you're saying telepathy is that, yes. And also, I believe in that. I think I think telepathy is misattributed reading of body language, for the most. Oh well, yeah, but no, I don't okay. count quantum entanglement. I think that has a role in one percent, maybe or less, of actual telepathy. It is kind of a quantum thing, though, right? Because we're all sharing the same shared universe and same same shared uh, yeah. uh, uh, dimension, right? This. Y'all are overcomplicating this. If, no, okay, no, no. This, so this think of like sense. word of mouth. Think of word of mouth, right? How fast is the speed of word of mouth? Well, during the information age, it's faster than ever before, right? So whereas oh, before you could say it's telepathy valid. was like talking to the birds and having birds communicate with other tribes and like other peoples, you know, across lines and, you know, above mountaintops and through forests and shit. So, like, so, too, now you have Twitter, Reddit, DMing, Facebook, Messenger, like, WhatsApp, Signal, <laughs> AT&T, Comcast, wait, Verizon? I, I don't know. Web Bumble? You think yeah, whatever, no Comcast. Bumble, you could talk. Going on in well, so, brain. so, if you say something's going to happen, right? Like, let's say you tell one person something, like an excuse. Like, earlier today, right? I said, kid not kin can't make it, right? Queen Alexa said, yeah, I know. I was like, how do you know, Right. How, how did they know what I was going to say? How did they already know what was going to happen to my thing? Well, word of mouth, they already said that they were going to do a certain panel. They were going to do something else, right? Like, I feel like it goes beyond just happenstance, right? It goes, it, it's like, it's especially the speed of it makes telepathy oh, even more real. I've had 
people die. And I've gotten sick before, like, really sick and shaky and, like, anxious before learning that that person has passed away. And I've always wondered, like, you know, if because I've shared so many experience with, well, experiences with someone and so much energy with someone, if they're suddenly gone, does that have a physical effect on me and start taking the energy out of me? Absolutely. And that, how, how can that, it I not think, is a better question. How could yeah. it? Right. You well, are literally experiencing a void. Like you, out. you have a void now. Like, that's just... Like, yeah, and if and that's what's so sad, too, like when we were talking about the death of Cupid, right? Like, that's so tragic to me, where we can't even think that there is that empathic telepathy going on at a fucking super fast level, unless it has to do with negativity, right? Which, there is a scientific fact for that, or an evolutionary fact, rather, where they say, like, yeah, we're, like, hardwired to remember traumatic shit, as to make sure it doesn't happen again, right? Like, as a safety mechanism, yeah. right? So, like, yeah. So, it is absolutely easier to remember the horrific shit over the happy shit. So, like, when I try to say something like, oh, there's, like, good positive telepathy out there, right? People are like, oh, smoke another blunt. That The dude from Big Lebowski. You know? Yeah. Like, they're like, oh, you're going to read my palm too, queer? You know? And it's like, okay. Oh, my like, God. Come on. You know, well, they, I mean, they do. And I used to think the same way too, right? Like I read the God delusion and I was like, religion ain't real. Rah, rah, rah. And I've seen too now, like with the whole abortion thing, everybody keeps blaming religious people. It's like, why? Like, why would it have to only be the mostly religious people? Right? Like, I understand that like Biden's Catholic and shit. Like, yeah, sure. Like there's definitely more of them, but it's still like you're blaming religion, but it's the people who fuck, right? It's the human husbandry breeders, right? Those are the people you're actually mad at. But instead, like on Reddit, like you keep seeing people just care about Ukraine. It's like, you don't give a shit about Ukraine. And like, it's been like 10 years since you declared at Thanksgiving that you're a fucking atheist. Why do you have to keep bringing it up and like keep scapegoating these people who are just trying to fucking pray, right? They care way more about prayer than they do about breeding, Right, and like thoughts I, I just, and prayers, I don't get bro. That. Thoughts and prayers. I don't get that. And look, well, like, it's like that's I've the negative telepathy in my right? life. Where like that's the I'm negative so telepathy. Connect... Go ahead. That's the negative telepathy I'm talking about, right? Like they're they're gotcha. like empathize. They're like instead of empathizing with these people, like they they attack they them. Wave it's like, yeah, well, why fake telepathy? Yeah, why? I get you. Yeah, because they're not living in a vibration that we are, right? So. Like, if I understand what you're thinking and you understand what I'm thinking and I understand what Slavsky's thinking and Slavsky understands what I'm thinking, like, we're on a, we're on a similar wavelength, right? So yeah. that would mean that, you know, yes. I've had experiences with friends and people that I know or am close with where it's like, okay, I can read your mind. I know exactly what you're going to say next or what you're going to do. Like, that's just reading – that's just knowing someone so well that you're able to – uh, predict their next movement, and Z, you're able to Z, 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 Z. and you're able, e. and you're able to uh, sort I'm of an astral project right into here. Z, <laughs> I've had that happen to me before. By the way, I've had astral projection happen. To me oh before, yeah, astral projection is awesome. Myself, I love astrally projecting. I've great. seen myself float over my yeah, body yeah. before, high as fuck. Oh, shit. And I, I, it's not like I was, my eyes were closed, but I could vividly see what was happening around me above my body and see the TV that was like on and see what was happening live in real time. That was fuck crazy. And it's happened to me at least a dozen <laughs> times. Or, no, it's happened to me a few dozen times or more. Yeah. Oh, fuck, yeah. Like, and you think about in Westworld how they're infecting the uh, humans with... 5g uh effectively yeah. uh through flies right and the flies are like kind of becoming the neurons or like their eggs are becoming the neurons and like controlling the humans right like that's you know i mean that's that neurons can travel like it, it's weird for people to think that like neurons oh one of my favorite things to happen i call this all the time in rocket league i call it a uh, mirror neurons right and well everybody well everybody already i'm sorry everybody already knows about mirror neurons but i call them mirror plays 
where what happens is you'll see a specific type of play occur in Rocket League, and then you'll immediately, like the next the next possible moment where something similar can happen, you'll see almost the exact same play play out by a different player in the same game. They'll like, like let's say everybody sees a massive, like somebody flies up for an aerial dunk, they flip and they do a backflip down and they do a dunk, right? Immediately, within the next 30 seconds, you'll see somebody either on the same team or the other team hit the ball up there go up for that same backwards aerial flip dunk right and it's incredible i've seen it so many times i keep replays of it right i have actual proof of this shit it's really cool to see how these neurons like through time and space from you know uh, from the east coast to the west coast just kind of boop, boop, like you see that real time telepathy it's it's fun all right next topic yeah no i was gonna ask you one thing real fast like what got you interested in telepathy and like the quantum like mechanics of telep telepathy and things like that because i know that oh, it's just psychedelic inevitable. experiences can bring that on right like no it's just it inevitable i mean you know my mom and religion was always obviously ever, like that was one of the first things is you know motherly religion like that's a big true <laughs> they're like oh yeah i'm spiritual right so like you think about like well what is actually spiritual right and then from there i've just taken everything that i've seen and then try to incorporate it but yeah you so can listen to paul stamets and uh his experience on psychedelic mushrooms and having a premonition about something <sighs> sleeping and dreaming and then it having happening to him the next week no, he had but a I dream believe, about yeah, a, yeah, of course it did. He had to drink a bunch of a dead cows and like a bunch of water and, and stuff like did. that. Well, he probably well, smelled yeah, it, he smelled it, and he didn't realize he was smelling it. It was like subconscious, and then he had the dream, and then he sees it, right? So yeah, no, there's a week all sorts later, of things. Actually, it happened a week later. There was a right. historic yeah. flood, and he had to go well, grab books, yeah. and yeah. he That's saw the I'm drowned saying. cows. Yeah, yeah, I mean, no, maybe he I, drowned I, them. I believe that. He put I believe them. That he saw them in the basin, right? He was like, was "Those like, cows those shouldn't cows be in a basin," and then it floods, and then the basin fills. It's like, yeah, I don't think cows can swim. They're pretty beefy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, the next topic. Oh, everybody say attack, defend, grab. Uh, attack, defend, defend, grab. All right. So the next topic is: Is Dylan Burns selling contraband to Ukraine? Uh, I'm not qualified to talk about this one. I don't know. I don't know. So everybody uh, basically agrees because if that could be a topic, then it could be a reality. All right, cool. Next topic: uh, misgendering. Well, it could be a reality in another dimension, sure, or in another in another universe. Of course, it's a, yeah. Of course, cope. So misgender misgendering trans cells, i.e. if there's somebody who's transgender and they're a complete fucking asshole, like they're your boss and they always put you on the worst shifts, they said no to your raise and your time off, and the last time your significant other was at work to visit you, they hit on them and almost slapped their ass and made you really fucking pissed. Is it okay to misgender that person? Can you repeat this real fast? No, it's not okay to misgender anyone, but can you repeat that one? <laughs> it's It I really happened. Happen. It's a real thing. So let's say you're at work, right? And the boss, who's transgender or transsexual, right? And they're open about it. They're like in your face. They won't shut the fuck up. That's why it's okay to talk about it. And they don't let you have time off, right? They don't give you a raise. They give you the worst shifts. They won't help you out. And the last time your significant other was visiting you at work, they almost slapped their ass and they hit on them. And it was incredibly rude. Is it okay to misgender them? No, it's not okay to misgender them, no matter what. Why not? Yeah, I wouldn't. Why not? are an asshole. Why not? They're a cunt, but I wouldn't say, like, misgender They were the cunt first. Yeah, but it doesn't can, matter. What do you mean? All you like Jesus turn the other cheek? Like what? Like why? No. That, why wouldn't you, know, you like, want to do like they're a horrible boss? Why wouldn't character. you want to do to them what they're at least doing to you? Charmpole, that sounds uh, radical leftist agenda. That does sound transphobic. And yeah, I just it's literally transphobic. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Is it okay to ever be transphobic? Yeah. No, it's not. It's not okay to be transphobic. Oh, okay, cool. Good. I'm glad oh, everybody's maybe, on the no, same No, not even then. It's not asshole. okay. It's still. It's yeah, but not okay why? To break your character. Yeah, but why? And and not 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 to do normally, but like as a point. But I mean, I can see how that's still really assholey to do. I I can say I wouldn't do it. I just I don't use the n word. I don't misgender people. You know, I wouldn't. But yeah. 
So would you put that person in prison? If you were on a jury like, well, and they were and they did some evil stuff, would you condemn them or, to, or, to okay, life I would on Earth? Condemn them for the actions that they did, not their not their gender or you know anything like that. Why uh, not? Why do why don't actions, they have anything to do with themselves? Space. For their actions, yeah, like if they're if they're slapping someone in the ass, yeah, yeah. they're a piece yeah. of shit. Yeah, true. Yeah. It's not because they're trans, it's because they're a piece of shit. I am Rolling Rock, get in. I am racist. Yeah, I'm not saying that. Right. Oh, Rolling Rock, that'd be great. Yeah. Rolling Rock, you can come in, but you can't be eligible. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting feedback. Is that for me? Getting feedback, is that for me? Yeah, I'm getting feedback from myself. Discord's so laggy, it won't, it won't tell me if it's Discord or not. Yeah, I can't see. Hello? Yo, Rolling Rock, what's, what's up, bro? Like. It has to be one of what's, up, what's up, person? I think it's Mr. Brandon. Gender out? I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Mr. Brandon. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? Hello? Hello? <laughs> I'm so confused about how I made your stream laggy. Hey, there he is. There you go. Yo, what's up, Al? Oh. You're gone now. What's up, brother, bro? Got a beer. Sweet. Am I lagging? No, your stream is on, like, some sort of... Oh, no, it's not anymore. It was for a second there. So it was you. Can't blame me. No, for I, your still hear. I still hear. I still hear me. Hello, hello, hello. I'm saying hello to myself. Hello. 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 All right. So rolling raw. You've got an asshole transgender boss, and uh, they're just they're the worst person. So much so that you want to call them a slur, but you don't. And instead, you just uh, misgender them. Is that okay? Yeah, they're the an yeah, asshole. They're an That's asshole. what you're. That's what you're that, yeah. That, yeah. What? what? They're an asshole. They're That's an why asshole. you're doing That's it. Because you're, you're like, let's say like, you're gonna you're just gonna quit, quit without putting in your two weeks, right? right. Something like that. So you guys are saying no, never bring up the fact that they are like ugly and don't know how to put on their makeup, or. Their beard is obviously fake. Well, why would you do that? That's not. You don't attack someone. You don't attack someone's like identity and their looks because they did something fucked up. You attack the thing that they did that was fucked up. Mr. Brenda, last Charm Royale, your looks and personality were attacked like five times every minute by everybody. Yeah, no panel. shit. But Claus is shit person, so that's not the point, right? It wasn't just him though. It was everybody. <laughs> Well, no, it's fun. Well, a few people said I was cute. All right, so that's not the point. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, on Charm's panel, or at least on Charm's yeah, side, they said I was cute. Like okay. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> See, I'm smart. I can do this. There we go. Yeah. We go, yeah. On Charm's side, I, I was told I was cute and that my shirt was nice. So I don't know. Yeah, you look yeah, like you avoiding look the like puddles, cousin. cousin. I think the thing is, is that I take it in stride because, like, I'm no one important, and also, like, I mean, I look like shit, but I can, I can wear it well. There you go. There you go. I'm jealous. And Charmhole, you're a cutie. Don't, don't lie. I know. Don't deny. I've heard people say it before. I know how good I look. It. I'm well aware. I'm well aware. Right. So are the women I've been with. Yeah, I love your hair. Yeah, thank you. Oh, dude, your hair is fucking awesome, dude. Like, you're, you're, you know, I agree. rolling with the blonde, like, Nordic look. Like, I love it, dude. Are you calling me transgender? Yes. Am I allowed to be offended by that? questioning your testosterone with that head of hair. <laughs> you are, because it's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. I love radical leftist agenda. They're like all over the place, and also fucking like just giving it up in chat. Like it's fake. Right? Typer. Typer. 
thank you so much. I love all the. I, lo I know I can't. I, RLA, I, like, I would. I want to respond to everything they're saying, but it's like you. they're not on the panel, so the fuck panels. them. <laughs> oh no! If they want to join, they should do it. No, they Go. don't. That's why they're actually instead of joining, they're going to consume uh, six thousand calories of cornbread. So, Someone's got to keep the chat alive. Hopefully they'll have Hopefully some mayo for barbecue sauce to uh, to do that. All right, so uh, next, uh, next next topic is uh, <laughs> I came up with a new word, right? All right, so you got hopium, copium. Are you ready for this? Nopium. Nopium. Yeah, Ooh, shit. on that nopium. So, a nope, somebody who huffs on nopium would be somebody who loves to discredit, deny, disenfranchise, you know, uh, create discord. You know, some asshole who's just basically completely negative all the fucking time. You could say that they're huffing on that nopium, right? Okay, yeah, that's true. But real fast, yeah, Alex Shikadarp is talking shit about you radical leftist agenda? What? What? I, I want to hear about this. Raiden Alex. Raiden Alex. <laughs> oh shit, Alex! E. Was that Goddard guy? What Sam? Someone Cedar told you that I didn't that? see it. If dude, Sam Cedar Sam did a Cedar debate with debate Hinkle, and now Hinkle's now. demonetized on YouTube. That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> like, have you guys that heard about fucked that? Up. Yeah, right? It's like these guys, these guys, literally all they're doing is they're taking the other side of the Ukrainian conflict, right? They're just trying to, like, they're like, yeah, whoa, whoa, what if? Whoa. This is America. Like, You're not allowed to have opinions. I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, look, like, even if, even if you're wholly convinced that everything he says and does is wrong, right? From an intelligence standpoint, right? Like, if you're, if you do care about war at all, you have to care about intelligence and logistics, right? Like, these rockets yeah. don't fly themselves, right? So, if you have access to someone who's willing to tell you everything that the other side is thinking, wouldn't you want to hear that? from an intelligence point of view so then you could react appropriately to them to dunk on them and instead they get cancelled sure. it's like what the fuck is going on you're just it's just like twitch pole cannibalizing itself you're just you're crippling yourself why would Reminds you do that me of when they were banning all those trumpers and stuff from facebook and then they went and created yeah. their own network so they would like be planning shit on their own where it wasn't so visible <laughs> right you're only yeah. shooting yourself in the foot just let them be out in the open yeah. yeah, you can only silence so many people before you're just shooting yourself in the foot. True. I mean, especially I when it's on your own really platform, right? Like, I would understand it, right? Even though Reddit's all anti-Twitter, but literally half of all Reddit's fucking top posts are just quotes and retweets from fucking Twitter, right? So, like... It, oh, you know what? It, here, here we go. When uh, H3H3 and... Uh, that one guy, that guy, fuck, what's his name? The skinny asshole who was on that boxing thing, the Creators Clash, right? He went off the Duggar family, right? And it was kind of like YouTube. The Duggar family thing? Yeah, it was like YouTube went against YouTube, right? Like there was a civil war, right, in YouTube, and now they have the Damn. whole like. Well, he's the entire reason why. I'm pretty sure that one law got passed. So, like, on YouTube, anytime you try to, like, create a video, you have to explicitly say, is it for children or not, right? And obviously, if you're saying it is for children, then clearly, you know, and then you, like, do adult shit, right? So, I mean, this kind of just rounds out all the topics we were talking about as far as uh, on internet content goes. You know, like what's what's appropriate or not? Like I, I hear some people say that they want to like take the internet. They don't want the children to be on the internet at all. Which, man, what? if I was a kid and I want to be allowed to look up my cheat codes for my games back then, dude, I would have been. I would have found a way anyway. Fuck them, like. <laughs> well, I would have. I would have found. No, I found a way. It was through. Uh, first, it was dial up. Then we had cable, and then we had dial up again because cable was too expensive. Because uh, my parents got divorced. But that's a whole thing. So, also, I went to Rotten.com and my mother wanted to punish me and say, you can't have access to the internet that's fast. 
<laughs> so you can look at pictures anymore. Which was, I mean, you know, that was a whole. F- <laughs> I saw, I saw the Chris Farley like crime scene photos when I was a kid. Like, who didn't love Chris Farley as a kid? Charm Hall, did you love Chris Farley as a kid? Yeah, of course. Whoa. He was fat and happy. Yeah, exactly. It, it, look, it's me to a T. Like, I'm fat and happy. Like, fat guy in a little coat. <laughs> fat guy in a little coat. Red. And Chris Farley, and Chris Farley was devout fucking Catholic, and he was massive friends with Newt Gingrich and fucking Biden. And now women can't uh, go to the doctor and get elective surgeries without going to prison. Hey, but- the happy feelings you got as a kid when you saw like Tommy Boy or you saw SNL with with Chris Farley on it, you were like, "Yes, this is great." Based when 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 SNL actually came on at twelve o'clock on NBC, it wasn't like some bullshit. What is this? What? Is this? what? You're like, you're like, yeah, I now love Sam Cedar. I, I love, you used to have just I love the one Eastern segment. media, right? That's kind of what it is. It's like, I love East Coast white media. That's what you're saying. And I feel like Who Twitch is kind of... Who didn't? Well, in the 90s, yeah, no, exactly. Everybody. That's why everybody cared about it, I'm, kinda, so I'm reminiscing in the past. Like, of course, now I understand, like, it's liberal propaganda, but it's not, like, even good liberal propaganda, you know? It's fucking shitty liberal propaganda. Oh, no. Radical leftist agenda. We're not going over rail again. All right? No. Yeah, that was last week. I can't do two topics at the same time. I can do it next week, though. That's why we dumb. I love Like, I made sure not to do the N-word the first one. That's why I let the N-word be the topic (laughs) this time. But I won't next week. You you had uh, Fanatic on tonight to have the Ember conversation, and we both agreed. We disagreed on the uh, prostitution, though. We're just like, okay, cool. Yeah, I thought I would agree so, with him more on that stuff, but I felt kind of contentious. I felt more contentious. It was kind of like half agree, half half content. Prostitution is based. I don't <sighs> care. Well, prostitution is inevitable. inevitable. Like. Your children will grow exactly. up to be adults. Like there's, that's just how it is. And right now, as far as human husbandry goes, the academic uh, portion is just has a has a massive monopoly on human reproduction in America. And people love talking about liberal colleges, but there's plenty of conservative colleges. Like they're out there, and like people just kind of ignore them for some reason. And, like, state colleges are just a grab bag of what the fuck ever. Like, whatever that state is just kind of prone to, which half the time is going to be conservatism, right? So... Yo, real fast, radical leftist agenda. You live your dreams. Go to Australia. Go and be a hooker with healthcare. That's based. (laughs) Live your dreams. Live your dreams. Fuck that penal colony. Fuck Canada, too. Yeah. No, it's your dream. Yeah, you want to do it. Do it. I for thought it. no. So I thought like I bet. I, I thought about this. I thought Brain about Twitch streaming. RLA, do no. you think? Do you think I could do it for real? You think my my man boobs and like you know? No, you a guy guys like us. No, we'd have to go someplace else. This is why I keep saying is like I've I've thought about being an amaranth style streamer, like a hot tub streamer, but in China, right? So I do exactly what I'm doing now. Except I would just be a man doing them. Like, work, I do my workouts, right? I would wear tight clothing. I would just take off my shirt. Like, guys do that all the time. You can do that. That's allowed. If anybody, if any guy here right now wants to take off your shirt, that's, like, nip. that's fine. That's Early, nip. Earlier, I was like, oh shit, I hope nobody says a slur, right? That's why I didn't invite this one guy who just showed up in my server spouting slurs, right? Oh, I didn't invite that. him because I was like, well, he's probably going to spout slurs, right? And get me banned and in trouble. But if any of you guys want to show your nipples right now, if you want to take off your clothes on live stream and show your chest right now, you're allowed to. You can do that. Do you want me to, Charm Hall? I'm just saying you're absolutely allowed to. Completely. Hold on. Does chat want me to? Chat, do you want to see Nip? I can't do a poll because I don't have enough viewers. So I have half the amount of viewers as I did when Chud Logic uh, kind of 
hate rated me. <laughs> we'll call it a hate rate. Yeah, why would he hate rate you? You're so yeah, nice. I could do it if I mean, want to be too. I know. Thank you. Not yet. Not yet. All yeah, let let RLA's, RLA's food, settle, food first. settle first. She just she just <laughs> ate dinner, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a buddy, sure buddy. All right. So hold on. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta relax first. Show me your whole body. <laughs> I love it. I love That's it. good shit. Hey, Alan, we're playing uh, Skyrim co-op this weekend, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Does anybody here want to do Sky, uh, co Skyrim co-op this weekend? Oh, I'd have to download Skyrim again. Yeah, you and you'd person. have to download you know, oh, pretty... No, that was me. Radical leftist agenda. That was that was Mr. Brandad. Uh, wait, you should be able to see everybody. No, look, we got here's Mr. Brandad. Here's Roland Ra. Here's big old Slatsky in space, and then here's the Lord Charm Lord hovering over all. Mr. My, Brandad, this my... is my first time meeting Charm Lord. Are you a streamer too? Who? Who? Mr. Braindead. I've never met. I've never seen Mr. Braindead before. I'm just around. I'm just. I exist in this space somewhere. In the periphery. It's kind pretty, of like, pretty much. But everyone knows me too. At the same time, it's like the penumbra. I'm pretty active at. at all right, Charmhole knows me, so I'm pretty active at a lot of spaces. All right. That's true. Like, Charmhole is famous in my book, including Charmhole. That's why I love Charm Hole because it's so memorable. People just remember Charm Hole. That's great. Nobody remembered oh, my Elena's last name. I'm a daddy. My what? last names that I had were like Salient Fuck Service. Yeah. Nobody liked that. Uh, spinch, which is like spinach but without the A. So just Spinch. I had that name for a while. Nobody really liked that one. <laughs> I told Rhizome he should change his name to Dank Hugs. <laughs> Oh, but if he changed his name again, he'd never get any viewers. All right. Did you, did you see how Joe Mama changed his name to like Duma Duma and then changed it back, and now it's Joe Lewis instead of just Joe Lewis? Yeah, we well, said Joe Mama first, but I think that's, that's so funny, funny as shit. Because guys... like Joe Mama just changed his name. Oh, you even wanna... though it's a great name, but. Oh, just well, you want to know what's fucked up? I keep getting banned from all these channels, but guess what happens on Twitch? Every time I go to Twitch and they tell me like my recommended, it's all these channels that I'm banned from. So they want me to like start shit with the people that I'm already banned from. I'm like, I can't even talk in their chat. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Watch their content, like see where they are, like listen to their ideas and their media. Like what the fuck? What happened to Turtles? Oh, uh, that's, that's a good question. I am sexful. I am raceful. I've had over a hundred partners. <sighs> I have no I idea. I don't know what our uh, radical left agenda is talking about. Like Loan out. What is this? Alan, what did you do? Just show your art. Uh, well, you don't need to ask me permission for to live your life. You could just live it. Don't Don't ever ask me something like that. Yeah, who was Turtles? What did happen to Turtles? Turtles was around here. Hey, Brain dead. You just oh, get off I remember. The, uh, Spinch, yeah, Turtles. They were being goofy in my chat, and they did a whole and like. Hold on, someone said my name. What's going on? Oh, I did. Sorry, I was just asking if you like just got off the golf course. You look like you've been golfing. Oh. <laughs> I swear that's, that's a golfer great. shirt. I know it when I see it. No, dude, I got this shirt for free for my dad's girlfriend. Went to Vegas. It's got a blood stain so on it and everything, golfed. dude. What blood stain? Oh, it's got a blood stain you on it. You can't see it, but like... Are you sure that's not a strawberry margarita stain? Yeah, that's a... No, I definitely, I definitely cut the shit on myself and, and didn't realize, and like, it, <laughs> and it went on my shirt. Oh, it's your blood. It's not her blood. Okay. Oh, it's my it's it's my blood. It's not her oh. blood. All right? Her okay. blood would be different. That's okay. If, that's if I'm running the red wing, Okay. All right. If you ride the red, if you ride, if you ride the red ring, while you're clothed, you're a dumbass. All right. Like that's so not. It's time to it's time to vote for the Charm Royale. Who who wins oh, the shit. second ever Charm Royale? Now you can't vote yourself. I'm scared. Someone needs to hold my hand. 
and, and chat can vote chat too. Vote so just say gotcha. in chat who do you think now. who do you think now. won, and we'll go through. <laughs> also, Schlatsky, who do you think won the Charm Royale? Charm Hole. Charm Hole. All right, one point for Charm Hole. Thank you. Roland Ra, who do you think won? Uh, I think uh, chat won. Chat, chat. Ooh, yeah. that's a Ooh, first yes. ever for chat. That's a good one, though. I'll remember that. We'll we'll make yeah, sure the real you MVP vote for chat, chat too. Yeah. For sure. For Mr. Brain Dead, who do you think won? Think Schlotsky won. Schlotsky, wow, one for Schlotsky. Incredible. I wasn't He's expecting ginger. that. He's based. Let's go. That's Im- that's impressive. I wasn't Schlotsky expecting uh, any. Smile is saving the day. Yeah, I wasn't expecting <laughs> any vote. Charm Hole. It's it's all up to you. Who won? All right, so there's two I votes for Charm Hole. One vote for Mr. Brain Dead. One vote for Chat. One vote for Schlotsky. Uh, nobody voted for Radical Leftist Agenda because they're not here and they're AFK. Okay. So, all right. Well, uh, I'll give it a minute. We'll see if anybody else wants to if anybody else wants to vote. But right now, I'm winning my own shit. So that's awesome. Uh oh, we got two for Schlotsky. We might need a tiebreaker. Holy shit! You voted for Schlotsky too. Hold on. We already voted. You uh, hold on. Schlosky voted for. I'm a gamer, Mr. You. Braindead. Excuse you, excuse you. First off, my stream. Second, I'm a gamer. If you think that I can't keep the votes in my head, I bartended for God's sake. I would serve. Hey, oh, I would serve hey, ten tables at the same time. Right? If you think I can't keep that in my head, you got another thing coming. They do. You got another thing coming. Another thing coming. Wait, how long did you bartend, uh, Trumple? Uh, just for a while. Just for, like, not even two years. Because after a while, you realize that alcohol is a depressant. Woo. Not just on the mind, but on the fucking body, too. And you're just like... I looked around, and I was like, they ain't a really? lot of old bartenders. So I stopped doing it, because I could feel my body die faster in real time, and I wasn't about it. But it's Dude, fun. Alcohol but it's is the devil. It got me hell of As well as cigarettes, by the way. It got cigarettes me. are the worst fucking thing for your body. Hell and, like, I, I wish I'd ever picked one up. I really do. Yeah, but those are an accelerant. That's, like, totally different. True. True. Yeah, nobody ever talks about how caffeine is a drug. Ooh, that'll be my next topic. Oh, dude, I do all the time. Are you kidding? Yes. I'll do that next time. Well, you can talk about it next week when it's a topic. Oh, fuck it. Dude, if you're doing one every week, I will be here. Yeah, of course I, I love this. I have to. Yeah. I commit. Yes, I will be here, too. Yeah, I like this. I never commit yeah, to, like, I'll a low. Like hanging out for me. Ah, oh, thanks. Uh, yeah, I appreciate hanging you. Hanging out dude. with the boys. But dude, I will commit to you myself. you do a Charm Royale and it becomes the thing, like, all right, I it's love it. It's already the and thing. Also, Hello? Like, <laughs> Hello? You're insane in a way that, that I understand and trust. That makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. Cause like yeah, I've my, bro- my around, brother, like, my the, real life brother, says and the also, exact like, same the tri- thing. The, the like psychonauts many times before. That's a good show. I know that crowd, and like, I understand those people. So it's like I'm here for you if you ever do content. All right, so uh, the votes are tallied. We're gonna need a tiebreaker between me, Charmhole, and Schlatsky. So I think I found a, a good way to for this tiebreaker actually. So, Schlatsky, what's your rank in Rocket League? Uh, zero. You are unranked. All right, well, I'm a yeah. champion in Rocket League, so I guess I win the, uh, the tiebreaker. You're the real gamer. The real Actually, wait, hold on. Let's do, let's do yes, a few other things. Wait, hold on. We'll make it a two out of three. What What's your rank in League of Legends? I don't even play League of Legends. Wow, also unranked. I was going to say, that would have been easy to beat me. because you're on right now, mister. I like I actually gave you a freebie there because I'm literally bronze for I'm the lowest rank in Rock in League of Legends. So I was like, if you're bronze three, you would have beat me, but you're unranked there too. So all right, well I guess I win the the thing, the the charm royale, the charm royale. Uh, eat my Schlotsky. <laughs> you lost. You lost. <laughs> Shit. You're so dumb and bad. <laughs> I'm misgendering you right now. When it's panel, You're a girl. Do? You're a female. I'm going to misgender you because you lost that hard. You female. You girl. I'm going to say right. her. Whenever I'm talking about Schlotzka, I'm going to say she. 
she sleeps. Can we tell you who to su- who, who to give a sub to, or do you just leave the $5? I'm going to sub my, to myself. I'm literally going to spend it on myself. I'm going to go out in about uh, 20 minutes after this is done, and I'm going to go get myself a cream soda. So, yeah. We have a new entry. It's Nikki. What's up, Nikki? Hey. Oh my God. Who invited her? Now we can start. Yeah, now the real oh, royale shit. starts. Let's go. Here Let's comes... fucking go. What's up, Nikki? Nikki, you're the tiebreaker here. Who won the charm? She already voted okay, Slotsky. Sorry. sorry, I had to. Uh, I had to mute the stream on Twitch. So. Oh, there you go. I don't know who won. I wasn't paying attention the whole time. Neither was I. What? <laughs> See, there you go. Slotsky, of course you weren't. I was. Slotsky should have won. I know actually. who really won. I know who really won the Charm Hoyal, and it was me. Oh, no. It was me the whole time. Yeah, you have to vote for who. Who do you vote won the Charm Hoyal, Nikki? Me. I think I, I won. You won, yeah. you voted for yourself. It was a tiebreaker between me and Slotsky. Okay. And this no, whole time, hold on, hold on. this whole time, you've been like, here. oh, Slotsky, you're so cute. Oh, you got this. And then you vote for yourself. No, she, no typical, she has a good point. Typical female. <laughs> Nikki has a good point here, though, okay? Hold on. Because she's cute and all of us suck. All right? So there we go. I'm bad right now. I just put my pajamas oh, on. I was like, here. okay, whatever. No, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Nikki is cute, and we all suck compared to Nikki. All right, so there we go. Yeah, but speak for yourself. No. <laughs> no, I'm based as fuck. But I mean, in terms of like you know cuteness, Nikki reigns supreme. All right. What about Charmhole? Yeah, right. No, what about I mean, Charmhole? Charmhole? Okay, hold on. Actually, I just won I the Royale. I just won Charmhole? my own Royale, which I was expecting Charmhole? to last week, but it didn't happen, which is kind of bullshit. But you I'll take lost? I'll take okay. I know I lost PB, my own royale, PBCL but now I won my own royale, so it's okay. PBCL won, out. and then I said to PBCL, so I don't know. Um, Charmhole deserves his own win, but you should have been here the entire time, Nikki. That's true, but I decided not to. I decided to cook instead because I was hungry. Based. Oh, true. All right, look. Boom. I went out oh and God, bought dinner God. tonight God. in order to not have to cook, in order to be able to be here. But here's the thing. I have a sub next to me that looks amazing. What? what? Uh, some other people's children. All right, now what should also, I do? Um, play some cooking here. Like, oh, shit. Yeah, what's up? All right, so now this is the official Charm Royale after party where we talk shit about all of the people who are pretty enough to get invited to TwitchCon Amsterdam. Who's Hold on. invited? Everybody who's there. I don't know. I haven't I haven't been watching the stream. I know Austin, Sho, and Rotten Hassan are there, obviously. Uh, iBaby Rainbow's there. She's been in Europe like the whole week, actually. I don't know yeah, who Hassan's banned now, are. so him being Same. there. I don't know. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Twitch. I'm a noob. That's why I love Twitch culture. Is it, it? It's always changing. You know, it's quick to change. That's why I'm always here. That's why I'm in this time slot that I am right now. Because, you know, you know. It, it changes. Shit moves around quick, you know? Like, uh, fucking... Like, people who are reading Destiny's Manifesto, half the people reading it were like, who the fuck is he talking about? Like, nobody... They're like, oh, I recognize Keffels because she's, like, recent, right? But, like... You know, I talked to Keffels the other night in Charm Hall. Oh, really? What'd you say? Well, I wanted to clear the air on the mass bands thing because, like, all right... She had banned, you know, people from James's community, Stardust, uh, Chud Logic. No, she has a Nina Jankowicz ban bot. Do you know her, Nina Jankowicz? What? No. no what? Hold Who? on. It was, Who is that? It was, it was, uh, Drop the tea. Uh, Spill the tea. Who is that? <laughs> it's the Ministry so it was of Truth through, Girl. Through... Do you remember? What? And, the like, Ministry of Truth Girl? Is this now? a fucking Harry Potter reference? No. It has to be. Nina Jankowicz. That Mary Poppins bitch, the Ministry of Truth that they had for our from our government. <laughs> like, do you remember? Ooh, hold on, who? What the fuck are you Nina talking? Jankowitz. You guys really don't know about everyone. What? No, I'm sorry. I need to be. He knows. I think they just don't no remember. Right now. I don't remember. No, you're right. I need to see her face. Nina, Nina Jankowicz is like a. 
Ministry of Truth. She had a Mary Poppins type video. She was going to like, you know, determine what is misinformation or disinformation. And then like, she got oh, shit. fired quit or something. I don't know. And she, apparently okay. there's a bunch of people blocked by her on Twitter. Uh, like a mass block. That's okay. what I was thinking. She's using yeah. the same shit that like Keffel's used. Twitter's one thing. What so Keffel's used... Keffel's had OG Prodigy, who created uh, Posada Bot, use a script that was outside of Posada, but still affected Posada, in order to ban people from about 10 to 12 channels. Uh, that included uh, Dylan Burns, that included uh, Judd Logic, that included Stardust, and a few other big names, uh, Twitch streamers. And I think Flamenco was in there, although I don't think Flamenco streams on Twitch, if I'm not mistaken, but that's not the point. The point is, is that I went on the other night to, to ask about that, and we cleared some air in a couple things, but she had accused Flamenco of doxing her, and I didn't realize that that was a thing. And she said, yeah, Flamenco doxed me on, uh, I believe it was uh, Kiwi Farms. And I was like, well, do you have evidence of this? That, Like, Flamenco's a piece of shit. Don't get me wrong. Like, Flamenco's not a good person. And I don't know holds anything some really about fascist views. views. <laughs> so Flamenco is this alt-right sort of, you know, streamer who is on Cozy, has a channel on Cozy, and as a streamer who is oftentimes on Twitch or YouTube, you know, being a douchebag, right? Which fine, whatever. I don't care about that. I don't I don't care about Flamenco or any of his content or anything like that, but there's plenty of things to attack Flamenco about if you want to. Using that as a catalyst to say that Flamenco was doxing you on a Forum is kind of odd if you don't have the proof that Flamenco doxed you. Now, I'm not going to defend Flamenco's views or anything like that, but that's a serious allegation if you're going to say that he doxed you. So I talked to her about this, and I didn't have the... I asked her, I said, do you have any information about this? Do you, do you think that if you could show me some evidence that Flamenco doxed you, I could see this and, and be able to look at it? And she said... You have to take me at face value. It's after an hour of conversation. And I was like, all right, I'll take it face value. And I complimented her and I said, thank you very much for having me on and whatever. So it turns out that Alexa had gotten information regarding the uh, doxing from Stardust and from Flamenco himself. I was supposed to talk to Flamenco, but it was well after midnight. It was like, I gotta go to bed. I have to go to work tomorrow. So, I didn't know any of this shit until the next day. And I got lambasted, made fun of, whatever, like, between Alexa and a few other people in her Discord. Because I went on and did the quote-unquote lefty thing where it's like, oh, okay, well, I don't know the information myself, so I'm taking it face value. Which is honestly the only way to do that until you have the information. So, it was a whole ordeal, and I have nothing against uh, Kathles personally. So she was uh, she was fine to speak to, and it was whatever. But you know, saying that someone doxed you is different than someone being on a forum in a thread that you were doxed in. That's Which, true. Still sketchy. Still sketchy. Right. Still not cool. Like but not people okay. Have, they don't have control over that though. But I, 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 I'm so sick of people blaming well, people for stuff that's really that, out of their control. If you knew there was Sorry. a thread that someone doxed you in, you wouldn't want to be cool with them because if they're talking shit about you, at the same time yeah. in a thread where someone had doxed you, that's not cool. Like fuck that shit. And even being in a doxing thread, like that's not cool. Fuck that shit. True. I want to be. But sometimes you don't know, like that, that there's someone got doxxed in the thread because you didn't read the whole thread. That's what. Yeah, but it's flamenco like and it's Twitch an and idiot. it's also you know apples. Like but I mean, you know, at the same time, it's still. I mean, I get it, and I get why she said. I don't want to be with anyone who is friends with anyone who is one separation away from a person who did that. And it's like, oh, That's so, so Cassandra. That's so it dumb. really is. Like, like, 
I'm, it really I'm, is. She's probably I'm, okay. I'm, Some of her friends probably have like transpho parents, so she's not gonna be friends with them because their parents oh, yeah. are transpho. That's the same type of Listen, shit. Like it's just like you can't. What I would say it's like, no, hold on, you can't hold like someone like Stardust. Although Stardust did say that you know, Flamingo is her friend, which. That's uh, a bit odd, but okay. I mean, like, if you're friendly with Flamenco, that's fine. But, like, what is a friendship to you? And also, you know, what what does that mean? But at the same time, it's like, who cares if she says that she's friends with someone? She didn't actively participate in all that shit. So what does that mean? Like, are you really going to hold people accountable for having relationships with people that are professional and you know work like and whatever because yes, they were in a they thread do. that that's you were and these twitch motherfuckers like they're just like too much it's just like they don't live no, in reality there there's there is a real there's a reality where you live in that's the real world and the, and the system that we live in and then there's the happy comfortable like safe space that you live in and whatever like i I don't have anything against Keffels. Like, Keffels is fine to me. Like, she exists in her own world, and that's that's okay. Like, I have nothing against her or anything that she does. But an allegation like that needs to be scrutinized and, and looked into, regardless of who it's being, you know, who it's against. It's like we live in a world so, where we accuse everyone of all sorts of things. And they get away with it. Yeah, it blows. And look, like I'm, I'm very trans positive. Like I always have been. It's nothing like you know to someone's identity that's going to bother me. I respect that and I love it. Like it's, I want people to be able to be who they want to be. But the thing is that you know, even if it's against some alt right douchebag who I'd love to see get taken down, like that's not the thing that you do it for. You you attack his views and like his stances and things like that. You yeah. don't attack, yeah. you know, something that you Are think you he might have done well. because he was involved I in a thread that happened to abduct I've you. It's rationale. Like, I can't... I can't defend it, but I also can't say, like, you know, he doxed you because he didn't. He was just in a thread that doxed you. Which is still fucked up. He was in a thread that doxed you. It's like, well, is it ethical to look up leaked news of somebody? Right. Like, it's already leaked. Right? It's already out there. Like, what are you... What are you gonna do? It's already out there. Abby Shapiro's big giant titties are available online to anyone who wants to see them, okay? Now, I don't like Abby Shapiro, but I don't think her nude should have been there. Like, but if I want to go out and, and see them, I can. You know, I just type in Abby Shapiro, uh, the fappening, and there we go. It's done. Wait, she was part of the fappening? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Why do you think she tried to clean up her image with this channel that she, that she like, started a couple years ago? Her nudes were all over the place. Her <laughs> all over the place. Tit, well. Her tits, her vagina, her fucking it. butthole yes, were cool. everywhere. I am race full. Damn, her butthole, too. I am race full. I am race full. I am sex Oh, yeah. Full. If you look it up, you can see it, but I'm at the point to do it, all right? Well, now I know. Race. Like, you know, Is there stream still on, Charlie? Oh, yeah. Yeah. People, people want to. I just wanted to. Wanna see I, it. I didn't want to leak DMs, so I, just, I went. Blown. If someone wants to, like, you know, say that I'm transphobic for saying that, you know, I respect identity and I, I love trans people and like I support trans people and, you know, I want to see them be able to live their lives fully, but also be against the mischaracterization of someone who is, a, a piece of shit, but b, you know wasn't the person that doxed you that's fine but we have to be rational about this you know we have to be realist we have to be able to see things as they are in reality and we can't do that without discerning that there's a lot of fucked up people out there who are accused of a lot of shit that they might have they might not have done it doesn't mean they're not fucked up people it just means that they're not, they're not accused of like they should be held accountable for something that they're accused of that there's no proof of. 
Well, everybody's yeah. been naked. Of course. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, so like, okay, so like what I'm saying on, is yeah. everybody lives everybody somewhere, lives somewhere and, everybody's and everybody's naked everybody's underneath naked their clothes, clothes right? right? Like I think well, yeah, that of course. When, when you're saying like, oh, I'm going to dox you, right? right? Like it's not that hard that to hard like, to, like everybody orders everybody pizza orders from places, places, right? Like it's just Yeah, of course. I don't I don't know. I don't know. You have to be realistic about things. I'm a leftist, right? Or a lefty, I guess you could say. Like I'm not going to sit here and like sit here and say something's not fascist when it's fascist or something that isn't fucking ridiculous if it's not ridiculous. I'm going to call it out for what it is if I don't have the evidence for it. If someone doesn't have proof for something that they're saying, I'm not going to be able to believe them. I'll take it seriously. 100%. It's like with like, you know, people who are victims of sexual assault and stuff like that, like there have been allegations that that have not been true before in the past, but like I'm still going to take it seriously because that's a serious accusation. I'm going to, like, want to support the person who feels that they have been assaulted, has been assaulted. And I want to be able to support them for whatever, you know? But I have to be a realist about it and go, if there's a certain definition or perception in someone's mind that they believe is sexual harassment, sexual assault, or whatever, and actually isn't, like, we have to be realist about it and go, well, that's technically not true, but... You know, it's still fucked up. Yeah. And I hate it. Like I hate I hate having to say things like this, but we have we have to be re- we have to be rational about it, you know? We have to have some sort of like realism to it in order for it to be A taken seriously, but B like, you know, look at it and go, Well, technically technically they didn't do anything wrong, but should it be wrong and we discuss what should and should not be wrong. I, I don't know. It's it's fucked up. The world's fucked up. This place sucks. Uh, amen to that. This world's this world fucked, up. fucked up. I mean, I would say it has a lot to do with the death of Eros, right? Like, you can't have uh, even hot, consensual love be shared, you know, on, on mass. It has to be commodified. It has to be voyeur, right? Like, it can't just be what it is, right? Like, yeah, that that literal familial love, right? Some might call it Oedipal, but, like, you can't... Without love, there is no family, right? So, I, I just feel like there's this demonization of that family, both nuclear and social, that uh really sucks <laughs> i think it just bl- I, no I, I think it just fucking blows you know i don't know i don't know what to say it just i i just i hate it like i it, it don't get me wrong i love being privileged i love getting all of these benefits that i do from being privileged right right I don't have to discipline myself because I can just wake up, order a bunch of fucking pizza, play video games all day, you know, look up whoever's fucking nudes online. And if I can't find their nudes, I'll just find somebody who's made a drawing uh, that looks like them, right? Like, it's not that hard. And shit, now you can just go on to, uh, uh, there's, there's AI mashups where you can just type in some names and it'll give you a mashup of, you know, like, oh, I've never seen this person nude, like... I'm going to type in Henry Kissinger nudes and this AI algorithm will give me this massively folded over pot spot marked potato of a naked man, right? And I'm like, yeah, okay, that's probably what he would look like, you know? And it's like, is that ethical? I don't know, but it's available. That no, it's not. Right? Like, it's, yeah, but it's real. That's what I mean. Like, I don't care if it's good or bad. I'm just saying, like, that's that's real. Like, that's actual You could look it up if you wanted to. To look up about, a deep to, fake of Henry nuts. Kissinger nude. No, I don't disagree with you. Like, you could look up a nude of anyone that you want to that has probably never even been nude before, but through character models and things like that, you can create an AI with deep fakes that shows them being nude, or you could even put their face seamlessly onto another person's face with their voice, too, if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. And make a deep fake out of that. That's frightening that's frightening to me frightening like it's not you, ethical at like all you pee you pa- like you pee your pants like oh shit no 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 <sighs> just just socially frightening right like 
it's not a cool thing to happen if, say, you know, someone is innocent and you can't prove now that, like, you could use that as, you know, it will no, it will make video evidence null and void. Someone could say that's a deep fake. How could you oh, prove that? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Blade shooter. Or how would you prosecute someone for making a fake? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be interesting. Who's echoing? Somebody's been echoing this entire time, but Discord's fucked up and it won't let me know. It can't be me, no, right? Maybe it's me. When I got lost. No, it's like everybody. It's weird. Wait, it might be me. Can I do their headphones? No, it was happening before you weren't here. Actually, here I'm gonna do a test. Here we go. I'm gonna keep talking. And I'm gonna turn everybody down. You wanna turn Rolling Raw down? I can still hear me. Yep. I wanna turn you back up. All right, now I'm gonna keep talking. But Mr. Brain down, I'm gonna turn you all the way down. All right, hello. Hello. I still hear me. Yo. All right, Schlotsky. I'm gonna turn you all the way down. Can I still hear me? Still hear me? Yep. Yep. What's up? All right, I'm gonna turn you back up. All right, Nikki. I'm gonna turn you all the way down. Hello. Can I still hear me? Still hear me? Yep. All right. Well, well, I don't know what the fuck it is. What the fuck it is. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Charm. Oh, you know what it is? Hello? Hello? Oh, no, it's still going. Oh, my. What the fuck? I thought I figured it out. Hmm. Reset your settings. It sounds like you're the only one with an echo. Yeah, I definitely yeah, it sounds got an echo. like it. This is so strange. Although, I heard one earlier when I spoke through my microphone, I heard it go through some of the speakers, but it's not happening anymore. It might have been Alexa. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I I feel bad that if anyone took offense from me being on Catholics the other night and talking about what I did, like, I took it face value. Here. What? Whoever geez. they are, they're not here. You don't have to feel bad. Well, I was gonna say, like, I took I took it face value because I forgot that that was even part of like the doc of the mass banning was like, oh well, so and so is friends with so and so, so I'm gonna ban them. And their users for I my thought, chat. It's like I thought it was people that followed, that followed the, D, the D the D guy. Like if you follow him, him, if you happen to follow him, you're blocked from my chat, which is so weird. No, it was then, Dylan Chud, Stardust, James from the Internet. Um, it was a few, it was a bunch of people that were that were like a dozen people that were involved in that. And it's like, and now she's just fucking debating just people. She's like, I'm gonna ban all debaters, and now she's debating people. It's like, she took that. Bro. She took that off. She cleared it out. She's like, fuck this. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mass ban anymore. What she's doing now? Anymore? Is like you already did it. Though. Because, <laughs> what? What? I, but really, was it the mass banning that I really had an issue with? It's the fact that she made content out of the mass banning, which was like, okay, so this person doesn't follow the drama, but. They're banned now, and they're like, "Hey, I don't know what's going on, but I got banned from your channel. What's happening?" And she used her chat in order to vote on whether to keep the person or not. It was like a coliseum: thumbs up or thumbs down. It was very <laughs> yeah, Greek. yeah, true. It's like picking it was, it was very Roman. Like school, school. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, oh, yo, it's all you, incredibly. It it is very. Childish. Yeah, it's like now that is for you know. Damn it's like sure. if that person said. Hey, I don't know what's going on. Like, you know, can you unban me, please? Like, I, I don't think I did anything wrong. Chat got to choose with channel points. What did they keep? Or ban? And Keppel's Court became a thing, like, it was a really big thing for a few days. Maybe even a week. I'm not <laughs> sure. But it was a good few days where, like, you know, she I held Keppel's Court. Them. It's like, yeah, it's like, yo, like, that's not cool. Like, you need to, like not mass ban people and then vet who comes in your chat <laughs> and use moderation right as usual in order to keep or ban someone who is being offensive to you and if you have a big chat you need more moderators add more moderators that you know that you can trust and bam there you go you're good to go like I showed up as banned in three chats in Basadabot for almost five days and it was like yo like i didn't do anything wrong but apparently and i didn't know this i was put on a good boy list so the good boys got to show up in the channel but if they went to the channel and typed a message they'd be unbanned 
cool. And I look again, like that's fine. Like if I'm banning a channel, that's fine. But if a channel had Basada bot and they could go where ban exclamation where ban and see that I was banned in three different channels or four different channels, whatever it was, the people that also use the script, it was like, yo, like what the fuck? Like this person's transphobic or this person's this or this person's that. Like they need to be banned now. Yeah, if they what? check mine, then that's gonna happen. I don't ever chat in uh, Keffels because I think they're gonna see that I'm banned in some shitlib chat. <laughs> well, it's okay to be banned in shitlib chats, all right? Like, if you're in banned in song, so I won't care, right? <laughs> but if you're banned, yeah, but maybe, in, you know. Maybe the people that I'm banned in, like, some of them, I don't even know who they are. They're just, like, friends, I guess, of a person that banned me because of someone that I had. I mean, Stardust is a shit lib. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, that's I don't, what, I don't like, know all of these. I, I know who some of these people are, but I don't really know their background or anything about them. So it's like... Who? Who is it? All, all who is it? You can't, people. Get... Yeah, I mean, well, no, this is just what an else? extension but, but of when we were Twitch, talking earlier, we were talking about Bandy different you. types of channels, right? That what ban you, you, Nikki? That's fucked up. It doesn't, it's automatic. We were just talking about that. Like, that's, we were saying, oh, true, like, the whole true. thing is that, is that Twitch poll as a community, right, cannibalizes itself. They eat each other. They kill each other. They would rather ban and delete them rather than, like, say, hold each other up or, like, a rising tide raises all boats, which I've I've argued on in live on Chud's stream. I'm like, I'm not saying even, I'm not saying unionize, but for God's sake, like, show some kind of camaraderie or fucking respect for each other, but it's never that. Instead, what it is, it's just a bunch of of people juggling bands and like and, and lib shit fucking free speech uh, violations right and then they and then like lucid fox will come back and he'll have an emote that's a literal frozen peach and be like oh it's my free speech it's like bitch you are killing your own fucking category you goddamn asshole and either you're doing it on purpose because you're an anti-bezo psyop in which case congratulations you're doing a good job on making sure that the one part of possible fucking growth and like mental uh, education could occur and as far as a socially parasocial political fucking position could occur like yeah you did your job well like congratulations nobody's gonna learn shit because you're an asshole and you make sure that as long as you keep fostering that asshole uh, ability that asshole atmosphere right it's never gonna grow it's never gonna get any better it's like nobody listen nobody it's reads true. Washington Post Solidarity. everybody it's listens it's to Hassan's take hey right? Nikki like, fuck that shit are you radical at this agenda Nikki yeah <laughs> I didn't know no I didn't know no I was wondering it's like I've seen you in other lefty chats like you're in James's chat from time to time you're in a lot of other chats like I no idea I've never talked to you before so I'm just oh, kind of curious, okay. like, you know. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> this is me. Oh, that's awesome. No, no, no. Hey, we, yo. We were actually vetting, like, we were vetting who needs to be a mod James's chat that kept thinking, it was like, RLA. Not a bad choice. See, moderation is digital that's labor. James. That's how I got banned from the song. Banned from the internet? Oh, no, maybe that's not you. Maybe I'm thinking of, maybe I'm thinking of another person that has radical. Hold on. I've been there wrong? before, but I, I, I don't really hang out there, but um, thanks for thinking of me anyways, or thinking that you thought of me. Well, no, no, I, well, at least I thought that was you. You might be a, it might be a different person I'm thinking of. There's another radical Probably. leftist someone on, on Twitch that, but yeah, no, 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 like you, um, I've seen you in plenty of chats before and it's like, you know, you're like a pretty rational human being. It's, uh, where do you hang out on Twitch? Or anything. Well, no, of course not, but where do you hang out? Like, like... Well, I used to go to, like, Jackson Hinkle and Haas, but they don't stream anymore. But sometimes uh, I go to Chud Logic or Rhizome. Sometimes I go to oh, Alex right. and Goddard. Oh, that's but... where I know you from. Yeah, I haven't really been there that much lately, okay. but it's because we stream around around the same time. So. I know you from I know you from Chuds. So that's probably where I'm thinking of because it's either like 
every other day it's James, but every other day it's Chud too. So it's like, okay, cool. <laughs> Probably from Probably there, but I didn't go there that much lately either. Well, I know I know you from like chats though, of course. Like you probably see me too, Mr. Brain Dad, obviously. Like you know. Yeah, but there's a lot People of know me. similar to Mr. Brain Dad, so it's like, <laughs> am I confusing with someone no, else? Because I get no, people no. Confused, confused too. People know me. People know me from places and things and such. Getting. I am, I am leverage. Okay, Shlasky. I only hang out at RLA's stream. That's I know. <laughs> and then, then Roaming doesn't know me, alright? We'll, we'll go there. Roaming doesn't know me. It's fine. Or Roland doesn't know me, excuse me. <laughs> you can roll you. But Charmhole knows me from oh, everywhere. everywhere. Everybody. Everybody. Charmhole, how long have I known you for? Like over a year now. I am Twitch Pole. <laughs> Charmhole is Twitch Pole, legit. All right, yeah. so like, I only knew Charmhole from chats for a long time there, and Charmhole's like <laughs> going into people's chats and saying something that I didn't think was that controversial. People were like, no, you get the good fuck out of here. And it's like, what? What are you doing? Yeah, that's the thing, is I kept trying to go into all these other channels and, like, because I, I subscribed to Raj Royale and the Austin Show, like, and I noticed, like, I was like, I noticed what makes content, like, actual content, right? And I wanted to emulate that and like help that out, and everybody's like, stop it, you're schizo posting. And I'm like, I'm literally trying to do the character, but I don't have, like, I don't have a chat to say that I'm doing the character, right? Meanwhile, 80,000 people fucking watch Asmongold so he can say the exact same words he said every fucking year about how World of Warcraft is big farts, tarts, charts. Like, nobody, like, who, who the fuck cares? But uh, apparently a lot of people. Like, it just, it, it fucking depresses me. Because, like, somebody, like, on Co Carnage, if I say fuck in his chat, I'll get a warning. And they'll be like, hey, we're gonna ban you if you keep saying fuck. What? Right? No, I know because he you wants the whole. Fuck like, in their chat. I know it's goofy know, as shit, fuck, but fuck, yeah, he's fuck, like slaughtering fuck, people fuck in video that. games, and fuck that's that fine. Shit. Fuck but the that moment bullshit. you say, fuck, and no, fuck, fuck, yeah, okay, I get it. Good one. Good one. No, so like, and I'm just trying to fix it. I'm just trying to like, I'm trying to get out there and be like, hey, you know, like I've I've got content, and they're just like. You're a toxic masculine, <laughs> you know, like I'll be like, and I'll, I'll show the toxicity that they're doing. I'll be like, look, look what you're doing. Like you're, you're cannibalizing your own fucking channel. And they're like, good, yum, yum, butter up them ham hocks, boy. And it's like, fuck, like you can't even convince them to make themselves more money and more content. Like it's just weird. It's like some kind of weird liberal ethical fucking, like it's not even... It's not even real. That's what drives me crazy. It's like they're just doing it in their head. It fucking so, sucks. It, that shit pisses me off. It's like, yeah. oh, you think you're this, so you're this. So, you know, fuck you and whatever. And it's like, what? What are you talking about? It's like, I'm literally saying the same shit that you all are, like, but in a different way. And... Just don't look, say what they terrible. say. Exactly. <laughs> say the opposite of what they say, and then me, and then say the things you mean to say once you're on. All right. Once you disagree, and once someone says you're on, that's when you say the things that you mean to say. And like you meme a lot, and like that's cool, charm. Like I've, but I've cool. always, I agree. I've I've always respected what you had to say because I always liked what you had to say. Thank you. That's the thing. It's like. Your content, but I mean, when I say your content, I mean, like, I enjoy hearing what you have to say, and that's the whole point, right? Like, whether I agree or disagree or whatever, one billion Americans I disagree with, but whatever, like, <laughs> under the system, at least. One billion like, Americans. Exactly. It's like, under the system, no, I don't believe in that. But if we had enough Americans who were disaffected within the system, we could have a revolution, which would be great. But we have to get there. And you think, oh, okay, well, you know, that makes sense why Charm Home would be against abortion. It's because we need more Americans in order to be able to get to that point. One that makes sense. Billion. billion. Am I wrong? 
No. One billion. Yes, yes. What? What's Wait, why is my camera off? Okay, only. All right, hold on. I don't know. I don't know. 600, million Amer 600 million Americans. Oh, How does that sound? In 10 years. 600 million. Under the system would have to be able to have a revolution. A, right? doubling? a doubling? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Dude, people need to get a lot more mad before we can get a revolution going. Oh, they're pissed off already. We know this. Oh, they need to get madder. Yeah, they have to get madder. Oh, they have to get more upset about the right things, though. And that's the oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, they got to be when we ha the when right we ha thing. Can't be the wrong the amount thing. Of Americans God forbid. When we God have the forbid. largest generation ever, again, at, what's, the, what's the generation after Z? It's what? Alpha, right? Sure. I don't know. I have But after beta, right? Mervy. Beta. Beta. If beta rises up, and they will, it will destroy Alpha and Gen Z and the Millennials. Boom. There you go. What's up, Mervy? We have to be on the yeah, wavelength in it? order to do that, and that's why I left lefties need to embolden other lefties in order to be able to do that right so let's roll let's fucking go y'all all i know is that i won the charm royale congratulations were you spending the, are you gonna are you gonna buy five dollars worth of uh taco bell or are you gonna fucking yeah i already go said like, i'm gonna go i'm gonna buy two big ice cold uh cream sodas yeah, they still have the cinnamon Why cream soda, not Baja Black? Yeah. yeah. I, because I'm not getting Taco because Bell. I get Taco Bell enough. I get Taco Bell enough. I get Taco Bell all the time. Okay, Taco Bell Why is great. Right? I love Taco Bell. Alright? I love it. But, come on. Why get cream soda and not Baja Blast? <laughs> because I don't. Because I want cream soda. I can get down on Taco Time. Maybe. I mean, Bell. to be real, that's a hard decision. Okay, Slasky. Okay. I have plenty of, of based ass fucking traditional taco trucks around me at all times. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there you go. And I live in South Carolina, by the way. We have amazing Mexican food here. But, but, Taco Bell, cream soda, maybe. Maybe. I just like tots. Taco time tots are pretty cool. Oh yeah, true. Hold on, taco time tots. Fuck yeah. That sounds really good. That sounds really good. Uh, so, charm hole was five dollars going to. I told you, cream sodas. Cream sodas. <laughs> I'm buying cream soda for myself. Two cream sodas for yourself. You can just buy cream sodas for 99 cents at, like, the fucking, like, dollar store. Yeah, I'm going like, to buy, like, five of them. I'm going to go wherever there's cold, wonderful, tasty, delicious cream soda, and I'm going to drink it's it. It's not going to be cold be or wonderful, but it's going to be a dollar a piece. You can put them in your fridge with the night. I have ice. I'm, I'm white. Be cold. I'm white. I always have ice on deck. Always. Oh, true. I didn't think about ice. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dealer, I never did. I didn't think about ice. ice. I fucked it up. Yeah, how do you not think about ice? wires it down. What? <laughs> if you drink it slow, yes, it waters it down. If You're you drink like, it fast, it's fine. You're like, I didn't think about also, ice. Also, the soda needs to be made with uh, real sugar, otherwise it sucks. Corn syrup is the worst. Right on. Oh, fuck off. I know corn syrup is You like corn worse, syrup soda? Huh? <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. Man out of here. Excuse me. Excuse I can me. No longer talk Dr. About Dr. Pepper is delicious. It's what it's Dr. Pepper is delicious. It's all you need. If you've ever had Mountain Dew made with like real sugar, like the old style way that they used to sell the thing have. anymore. Oh, I didn't even have, know that exists. It'll change your life. Mexican Coke and, and Mountain Dew are amazing. Dude, the Mexican soda has got uh, cane sugar in it. Done it. Done it. Yeah, it does. Ooh, it's yeah, great. It does. Yeah, I mean it's good, but like let's not get it, like let's not get it twisted. It's like, yeah, you guys are saying like it's night and day. It's like there's it an improvement, but it's not like the no, best it is thing night and ever. day. Like, come on. It really is. Come on. 
it, it, it only, the no, shittiest of no, sweethearts. No, no. no. Not like the greatest. No, the yes. worst. The Dumb worst would be. Show. No, the worst would be. Hold on. Aspartame. Aspartame. There we go. <laughs> How did I know? Also, sucralose sucks too. But I can stand sucralose better than aspartame. But erythritol is not a bad. Uh, yeah, but if we're gonna have sweeteners at all, we might as well have uh, like actual sugar. True, but I like erythritol. It tastes great. It doesn't have the bite. It doesn't have the bite that aspartame does. Wait, what are you saying? Uh, Asperol? What's the word? <laughs> no, uh, no, no, no. Word is waiting. Okay. This is so funny. Every time, rolling raw, every single time you talk, push to talk, I hear the brown, brown. Okay, sorry, brown. I'll change it. I'll change it right now. <laughs> no, erythritol is fine. I don't get the bite with erythritol that I do with aspartame, which sucks. Aspartame? Are you kidding me? I okay. So every day I drink instead of drinking fucking sugary pop shit, I get the little one-off aspartame like shots that you just put in a drink with some ice. Like I got the fucking Welsh's no. cherry pomegranate. I got the fucking peach is really good. The Starburst pink, the Starburst fruit punch is really good. They got Star Kissed orange and grape. Damn right, I've drank like all those. I've mixed I've some. Mixed I've mixed some. and matched some. Like, there's so many different so good yeah. kinds, right? right? It's like that Mio shit. I've but mixed it and matched suck, you know? Juice Light and Juice. It's so good. Juice okay. is great, but Juice Light is better. Hey, I took off Push the Talk. Does it sound better Give now? Me 20 bucks. Oh, yeah, yes, it does. You were doing that ding wow, every who's time. Who's that hottie? Wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Is that Nancy Pelosi? Oh my yeah, god. It kind of does. Give me 20 does. bucks, I'll read you a poem. <laughs> <laughs> That's disturbing. Oh my gosh, is that Nancy Pelosi? Oh my gosh. Uh, hey, is that Nancy Pelosi? I'm uh, crying right now. I'm crying. Dinosaurs. I tell you. Uh, maximum age no, it's not Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi represents something real. No, it's something real. The best artificial Nancy speaker. Pelosi, how do you feel about no. Tom Hole winning the Trump <laughs> Royale? Yeah. I'm cool with that. Good. If Charmhole does not win the Charm Royale, who does? True. True. Besides PBCL. Yeah. Oh, it, that's it, the it, guy. It, I kept forgetting his name. PBCL. Is that really his name? Yeah. It he is. keeps messaging me too. He's like, "Um, oh, where's the receipt for the Planned Parenthood?" I'm like, "It's coming. Fucking chill, Jesus. You're not my dad." No, no, no. Five dollars, Planned Parenthood's not a bad deal. All right. Yeah, neither yeah, is subscribing is via Twitch. True, but oh. you don't have affiliate, so. Yeah, that's why it's just Cash App Charm Holes. Give me money through Cash App. It's oh, right true. Or or Venmo. But you're supposed to get you're supposed to give him five dollars, so it's five dollars to Planned fuck Parenthood. <laughs> No, fuck that, but you have to be beholden to your values. Yeah, so obviously I'll do it. I'm just yeah, slow. I just get it. I'll get to it. It'll take a minute. I don't feel like doing it right now. Or then. I love you so much, Charmhole. Seriously, I love you. It's like, oh yeah, where's the $5 to uh, Planned Parenthood? Uh, it'll be coming. there when it gets there. It's literally, you have the entire 2022 tax season. That's not over for another, like, six months, so... We'll get, we'll get it. Don't worry. I'm acting like a business. Because that was what they said. That's what Twitch said. Is like They're like, we'll let you stream. You can be affiliate if like you have your own business. Which is what Destiny talked a lot about, too, actually. He was like, you know, if you're going to make it big on Twitch, you should uh, make your own business. And, like, pull from the business and stuff. Yeah, he had a lot of good to say. In a dark, dark trunk hole. I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but yeah, he, 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 he wouldn't fuck business? around when it comes to uh, federal, liberal, government spending and corporate business spending. They're, they're in. They're of. So, you know. 
Monkey. Nice. I still hear myself. I don't know where the fuck this echo is coming from. It doesn't make any sense. Hello? Hello? Hello. 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 It's like I'm hearing myself somewhere, but I don't know where it could be. I don't know where it could be from. You know? From, unless it was like... It, it, was, it was... Wait a minute. What if I just leave the call and then I can't hear anything? <laughs> Hello? Can I talk in here? Hello? Am I echoing here? Be too good at it. And it's not. Whatever. It's not. Charbo, load up right before the king. Hello, can you hear me? I oh, we got some hole. Am I? Echoing Charbo's here? actually playing for the king. Yes, yeah, yeah, I'm streaming right now. I'm streaming. Oh, are you? Oh, are we online? I'm streaming. Don't don't say any slurs. How many viewers? Grace. I am. I am holy of myself. The troll. I don't know enough about him to have an opinion. Hello? But okay. he let me on All right. his You don't know panel, you don't know so enough about me? What the fuck? I don't I don't watch you, Charm. I'm super easy <laughs> to find. No, it's not about it's not about watching Charm Hall, it's about knowing Charm Hall's history and also way that it gives your appearances on Charm Hall's panels. Oh come on, I, you don't watch Charm Hall. Obviously a polarizing oh. figure. Everyone's got a different opinions. So Hello? You can't be that bad. Hey, Hello? it's gone now Hello? that I've come in and out. I can't hear myself okay, anymore. Okay, so Charmhole is based. That was That's weird. Spot. It was like, wait, so. you can still hear the. No. Radical, That's you're gonna right. have to come in. You're gonna have to just like leave and join. I think it's because my Discord server doesn't have Nitro. So yeah, it gets, Radical, it leave gets and the join and, and come back. It gets the and, trash. And, we get uh, we get the trash internet, right? All the good servers get the good internet. Oh, is that what? Yeah, I think I yeah. Like a few times, I think I had to reconnect. Yeah. <laughs> It's, I was I mean, wondering it's what the hell is going on. I'm sweating so hard right now. I don't know if you can tell. Ooh, I've got a question. Are we familiar with what uh, Rapex is? Yeah, yeah. Rapex? Yeah, Rapex. It's teeth for your vagina. Uh, that's horrifying, but also based. <laughs> based? Yeah, I mean, look, do you know what self-defense is, right? Like, chicks... Here's here's a here's a hint, right? If you're getting uh, assaulted, hit them in the testicles. It hurts. Gouge their eyes out. It, I mean, it's yeah. not you know. Ben if you're gonna if you're gonna walk around with a hard teeth shaped thing inside of your fucking hole, like, goddamn, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> like, it seems fuck, like a joke on like, like, No thanks. Put a piece of plastic in your vagina all day and then cower in fear of men. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, hold on, hold on. So, is there a rapex for is it justified? Of course. Why wouldn't you be able to use the Rapex in your butthole? I don't understand. Like, what's what's stopping you? Of course you. That just seems like an even worse joke. What's stopping you from doing that? Like, just put it, pucker up, you know? Or I guess the opposite of puckering. Also, it seems like men would figure out a way around it pretty quick. Yeah, elbow them. Elbow them to the face. You just you take your elbow and you go bop. <laughs> like, it's not like. When they start hugging you and you don't want to be hugged, that's when you pry them off, you know? Whereas, like, I've been day raped before. It shit sucks, you know? Like, you're just so drunk. You don't really know what's know going that. on. And they're shit. just, everybody's, like, looking at you, smiling, like, yeah, this is going to happen. I know, right? Really? And then the bitch afterwards was like, we're dating now, right? And I'm like, I'm disgusted with everything and everyone who allowed this to happen, myself included. Ah. You know, I just, it fucking sucked, right? Like, but it was uh, it was a happy ending because I got her I got rid of her because she she was like we're dating now right and I'm like you remind me of my mom <laughs> she was like if you want to get a, if you want to get a chick off you just say that they're not unless they're really crazy they're not <laughs> they're not too happy about that usually sniper monkey I wouldn't be happy about it shit sniper monkey. Yeah, this sucks. I'm trying to. I've had my ass grabbed at work before. I'm trying to beat this level, man. Gay bartender. 
Get the hero boost. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, I'm gonna restart. That sucks rolling wrong. You know, I'm just gonna go home. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna change my monkey scary. my monkey loadout. I was fucking annoying. See ya. Bye, See ya. Nikki. Bye, Nikki. Bye, Nikki. Safe. Thanks I'm gonna be on the internet. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm here. I, I added you. To, I added you to a friend on Discord. So we're cool. No, I was about to. I know. Uh... I I accepted the friend request. Oh shit! <laughs> you accepted? Oh my goodness! I was about to see yeah. if right. anybody. Hey, if, any, say. if anybody has any suggestion of who to raid to. Because yeah. Oh, uh, uh, I have I have a few. Let me see. Logic. No, not Chud. No, 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 raid no, anyone no, over hundred viewers. Fuck Chud. No, you want to raid people with more viewers. No, fuck them. Yeah, uh, so then you get their Stardust. viewers. Proudly radical. No, raid the J. Baby and Liberty. I'm just kidding. Wait, who? Who'd you say earlier? Scott Marcus. Cool. I like that. J. Marianne. <laughs> Oh, Jay Marianne. I love Jay Marianne, by the way. I don't know her. I followed her, Who's but that? I really don't know her. But she's always on, so... Just how how right. the hell do you say that? How, like, how J... You... I... Like, the letter J? J-A-Y? J -A -Y? Yeah, like, I don't... Yeah, the like... letter J. No, it's J. Hold on. Oh, there it is. All right. <laughs> there you go. No, no, tell Jay Marianne's great. great, because I don't even know her. But I just... No, she, she's great. I love her. All right, that works. What does she do, Jay Marianne? Looks like they're back. Uh, she's a leftist. And they like makeup. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Thank you. No, thank you for no, for the you. suggestion. Hey, no, I said it first. I just gotta set it up. Man, I'm so sweaty. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna <laughs> cuddle up with my pizza and watch One Piece. I'm so excited. Thanks all for coming, by the way. <laughs> And also thank you for oh, me. Coming, thank, by the way. Thank you to Charmhole for winning the Charm Royale, second ever <laughs> winner. Uh, you know what? Actually, you know what I should do? I'm I'm changing my my thing. Since I won this week, I'm taking my five dollars and I'm deleting the five dollars I had to give to PBLC. So now I just now I'm not gonna donate five dollars to to, <laughs> to Planned Parenthood because that's my my choice, my win, and it's all Fair about. $5. We're all about choice hey. here, right? Yeah. So, I'm the winner, and that's what I gotta say. <laughs> Yo, thanks for the. Base live value. Can you have extreme dad on? <laughs> yeah, I'll 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 DM extreme dad next time. We'll get him. What makes extreme dad extreme? God, J. Marianne, what a horrible. He better be man. at a skate park. Yeah, if he's not at a skate park or on a motorbike, I don't approve. There we go. Rating in 10 seconds. Sweet. Dude, my dad used to be an extreme dad. He would drop me from the roof into a hammock. Well. That shit was fun. What? I that was awesome. awesome. <laughs> you made it. Base, you made it. Homelander. Extreme okay. Homelander, dad. I am. Right. So <laughs> pretty, yeah, pretty much. We, do, we used to jump on the trampoline, and he would um, tell me to climb on his back, and he would do flips like uh, a Yoda of Luke Skywalker, but I was too afraid for that shit. I was okay with being dropped into a hammock. That was, that was fun. Never, not myself. Pick my brain not myself. I'm the racist, not myself. I'm the not myself. There we go. It rated twice. <laughs> She's saying the same thing Ray Rosalind always says. Like you have to click the link. You can't just rate in, you have to like click their stream. <laughs> you rated Rihanna! Oh my god. So if you can't find a way to have that stack up and try other things. So this is now the after after party, right? Officially. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> now we can say the M word. Now we can really... Yeah, exactly. Now we can say the M word. Now I can take my makeup off. Yeah. <laughs> now I can shave my mustache. I am sex. Damn, I was able to chat, but now I can't chat anymore. I am race. I am It's now in one minute followers only mode. I've never seen Jamie. Oh, Dude, what's the politics streamer streaming and just chatting? That's such a cop out. 
I am holding I I love you, bye. Yeah, see you later. No, I don't I love you. I don't give you permission. Okay, well, you know what I want to know? I want to know everyone's name. My name is actually Ryan. It's Brian. It's the Y. Okay, okay. Brian did his, uh, he said Brian? With a Y. Brian with a Y. Uh, Flotsky. Tony Bosky's Deli! I want to know what Charmholt's name is. from. It's a childhood nickname. Oh, I want to know. What is Charmholt? What is your first name? You have to look it up. Holy shit. What? It's not that it's hard to look. It's not that hard to look. Look it up. Try to find me. Hee <laughs> hee. I am sex full. I am race full. I've had over a hundred partners. Okay? I want to call you Chris. I am race full. I am Everybody sex full. Everybody keeps saying that. That's so weird. <laughs> you look like a Chris. Somebody, like hey, somebody Chris. that's my dad's name. It's so weird people race. keep saying that. That's what they call me. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, I, am, I am I am full. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. Okay? Everybody had everything going on. I asked so many people to be on, and literally everybody was doing something. And I like my mom was buying, and I was gonna like rent a fucking car. And they were like, hey, it's it's what parents do, right? And like, and I was so fucking pissy because I fucking I go to rent a car and they're like, "What car do you want to rent?" And I was like, "This kind." And they said, "Oh, we're out of cars." And I was like, "Why did you even like have the option? Like, why would you say? Why would you say that? That's so fucking annoying." <laughs> I'm so pissy about that. I'm still mad. Is she far away? Striker Jones. Great, got another one as well. Nah, that's not far. But yeah, no, it was so busy. Everybody's like, yeah, all the cars are gone. I'm like, you're, either you're lying or like everybody's doing everything this weekend, which makes sense because like which club in Amsterdam's going on. Like so many people are just doing everything that's like summer vacation based. So, oh, well. yeah, I have a hard time paying attention to all the random events going on. I, I had no idea there was a Twitch in Amsterdam. There's one every year, right? Isn't it? Is it usually? Uh